we on? Yeah. All right. Bob here <laughs> with the live stream from the lair with Mr. Donovan Sharp here. What's up, guys? How you doing, man? All right. <laughs> Ah, it's an honor to have you here, bro. Well, thank you. I, you know, thank you. We, we interviewed at your studio, and now you're in the lair. Hey, man, this is um, – it's actually pretty cool. I was telling you when I came in here that it's just so crazy. Like, the very first time I saw the St. Louis Arch, it was kind of surreal because you see it on TV, you see it in movies, and then you actually see it in person. It's the same thing here. Like, I'm here in the lair, and I saw the sword room and everything with the belt. It's actually kind of cool. It's outstanding, man. Outstanding. Well, I'm glad you like it. Um, now, um, I would like to start us off with um, a plan that I would like to put in place okay. for the MGTOW community, uh, the Red Pill community, and MRA community. And I would like to basically put all the personalities together under one umbrella yeah. so we can actually reach more men and uh, help with what's going on in the Western world here. Yeah, I agree totally, man. I think that um, over the past, I don't know, what, two or three years, um, there's been a lot of infighting. There have been a lot of, you know, fractures within within the community. And I used to dabble in, I guess, what they used to call, or I guess what is called the Black Manosphere. And there's, there's always infighting and beefs there. And guys over on the black side of the manosphere said, well, we need to do it like the white people. Because the white people don't beef, they don't fight, they don't argue. And I'm like, no, they uh, actually kind of do too. Um, <clears throat> but getting us all together under – because we, we used to be unified, right? Like five, ten years ago, we were all on the same side. Our biggest detractors were feminists. But somewhere along the way, feminists stopped really paying attention to us. Because now their dirty work is done by other people. And it used to be guys who just hated us, right? Yeah, yeah. Just talking, just talking shit about us all the time. But now it's other content creators that are that are that are, are on the attack. That you've got wannabe content creators. So I agree. I think that it's very, very important for us to I agree, sort of centralize things a little bit, be under one roof. That way we all have one clear message. We're not all gonna agree on everything, but at the very least, we can agree on the fundamentals and let people know that, yes, we agree on the fundamentals for sure. Like, I started off in the Manosphere. Um, I made friends with Paul Elam. Yeah. And I uh, was instrumental in setting up the first uh, international conference for men in Detroit in, uh, in, 2000, in 2014. And uh, I noticed right after that that a lot of the people that attended started off with uh, – they started fighting. Yeah. Yep. And then I noticed that they were getting fractured. And then there was all kinds of little petty cat fights and stuff. Oh, God. And then I decided at that point, uh, you know, because I had done Purple Heart's final beat, that suicide video. And I think there was a half a dozen other ones that were just very, very uh, emotionally um, negative. Yeah. Like, a lot of depression and stuff. And I'm like, you know what? I think I'm going to change it up. And I'm going to circumvent a lot of this petty infighting with comedy. Right, right. So I repackaged the whole damn thing under Redonkulous, and here we are, you know, seven years later. Uh, listen, I say I would, uh, I would say that it's worked out. Uh, you got more subscribers than I do. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> well, I mean, to be honest, um, I believe we started getting shadow banned really early before it was actually on anyone's radar. Wow. wow. I do. I mean, early we, 2018 yes that was when it happened right after tessa newell and amy horton those two episodes came out back to back each one of them were over a hundred thousand views well over oh, we amy had our horton. best month of youtube monetization ever yep and then over the course of that year it slowly gained momentum and then right after we hit a hundred thousand boom. boom wow done like, a lot of our videos don't even get over twenty four thousand views or twenty four thousand views they're getting a little bit better now. Some of the better ones, like, for some reason, every Civil War video is over 30,000. Our OnlyFans video, 68,000 <laughs> oh, wow. views now. So Damn. not bad. I mean, it's yeah, not exactly not bad, viral. Not but so you're going to start an OnlyFans? Terrence oh, Pop OnlyFans is going to swing. He's no. going to do the helicopter for the ladies? No, no. We're not, <laughs> not going to have any of that. He's not going to sell his soul on that one, right? Uh, listen, you know, 20 years ago, maybe I had a chance <laughs> of doing that. <laughs> now... Funny. 
Uh, I don't. I'm, I'm <laughs> going to be honest. New, there's this your new a... Patreon tier. There it is. Cheaper there it than is. therapy? No, you're going to need therapy after you're done seeing that swing in yeah. that sack. Actually, we're <laughs> the thinking. helicopter tier. I'm thinking of putting together like um, a live stream a couple times a month called okay. Cheaper Than Therapy. <laughs> Or I can have people like you know either call in or send an e- e- or email or direct message me about what's going on in their life. That is a good idea. You could probably do that more than twice a month, man. Yeah, and and I would give I would answer it just. What are we doing? Just move it over about three. Inches. I thought he was reaching for your. That you're reaching for your whiskey. Right here on the air, right? But I I would answer it in a very direct way, like I would talk to my soldiers back right. in the day, because I I was. That was one of the reasons why it was probably best that I retired, because I don't do political correctness. Right. And I call it as I see it. Right, right. And um, I started getting a lot of female commanders and stuff, and when they would ask me things, I would be brutally honest, and they would get all offended and butthurt, and I'd be like, well, this is the reality on right. the ground. You want the truth, right? Yeah. But, you know, uh, a lot of my soldiers appreciate it when you know, I'd be like, hey, man, you know, you're, you're, you're screwing up by the numbers, and this is how we can, you know unfornicate your life <laughs> <laughs> unfornicate your life yeah you mentioned amy horton um i have done um i have done many amy horton videos and they all do very well i would argue that amy horton that is the like my entire empire is built atop it it's uh-huh. just it's it's incredible people love it when i talk about she makes it very easy to sort of not necessarily go after her but amy horton to me is the embodiment of the typical western female the, the the rationalization hamstering the 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 blame shifting the I oh, think yeah. I'm in, I mean it's just it, it it's just too easy and she continues to put out these articles and you would think that after all of these videos she would say okay maybe maybe the problem isn't all of these men here at 43 years old maybe I'm the common denominator nope her next article is three re- you know ten reasons why I don't need a man and then she wonders why guys like us come after her it's yeah, incredible d- does anyone know how old she is. Um, she's got to be probably forty three. Got to be mid thirties at least. Yeah, I think she's forty three. Yeah, yeah. I, I had her at thirty eight. <laughs> I mean, listen, man, a thirty eight year old woman is about the same as a forty three year old woman, right? I mean, your dating prospects are not going to be any better at thirty eight than forty three. I don't know, especially well, if, when you have warts. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh like, wait, I, I'm sorry. What? Oh, you you haven't read that article? I have not read oh, that. Article. Oh, oh, you have not. Oh, yeah. It's called "I Contracted Genital Warts: Why I'm Not Ashamed." Uh, next up on TSR Live, bring it up uh, I will screen. break down the, wow, that's incredible. I did not know that she had written an article about that, and she's wow. not ashamed of it. Well, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> there are a lot of people out there who probably have it and don't know they have it. In fact, okay. but the thing is, if you have the strain that starts to show symptoms, that's the bad one, mm. and you don't want that one. They're all bad ones, but here's the funny part. When I started typing in the title of the article... Uh, Google auto-corrected for it. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's interesting. Um, uh, my 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 conquests, most of my conquests with women happened in Vegas. And I wasn't always the most responsible, if you know what I mean. Dude, never had it, never caught an STD. I don't have any kids that I know of. It's like... I don't know, like something, I, I think I'm, sometimes I feel like I'm on the Truman Show sometimes, because I have made stupid decision, after, I was an idiot in my 20s, as we all were, then I figure out how, I, I get my black belt in women, and I'm in La, this. I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada, the, oh, the, the, the adult playground capital of the world, and I'm, sti- dude, I'm sticking my dick in, in <laughs> just about every stripper, it, it, just, it just didn't matter, <laughs> sometimes I'd use protection, sometimes I wouldn't. There may or may not have been cocaine. There may or may not have been some, you know, swingers parties and all that other kind of stuff. And for and I never pissed hot. It's I just I don't know how I did it. You never pulled the rigs? No, never did. No, never. No, never. Is, no I'm, I keep using this guy named Riggs because okay. when I was in the army, uh, he was in my squad, and this guy contracted VD. Oh. Six times in like a four or five month period, and Damn, the last the time he caught at? it, he had syphilis. Oh, the big S, and he Were gave it to Amsterdam? a sixteen year old girl. Yeah, and well, the thing is, is like since I'm in charge of him, I have to get the list of all the, all the chicks he's banging now because he has syphilis, and the police are involved. Oh my god! Because if you come down with syphilis, uh, you have to get treated, and the the law will make sure it happens. 
And since a soldier did it, she could get treated at the, the Madigan Army Hospital. Washington and, State, yeah, Fort and, Lewis. And I had to call. I called the house. I asked for her. I get her mother. Her mother's like, oh, anything you can say to her, you can say to me because oh, she's 16 mom. years old. Oh, mom. So I had to drop that bomb on her. What's the age of consent in Washington? 16. Ooh, man. He just made it. Just skated just it made into the it. wire. Madigan Army Hospital. Listen to this, man. Um, I got eye surgery there. I'm eight years old. Um, one of my mom's boyfriends, we were... She used to date Panamanians for a little while before my dad and, and her got back together. It was crazy. So, every, so everybody spoke Spanish, right? So they're just Panamanians, and we're always we're at these parties every week, and then I'm playing with sticks with, with this kid named Carlos. He's my age, and he, he swings it, and he, he cuts my cornea. So I'm going to the hospital. Dude, 75% chance I could have lost my eye. Oh, they completely saved me. Dr. Chismeyer, shout out to him. If you're still – Dr. Chismeyer is probably really – Dr. Chismeyer might not be with us, but Dr. Chism, listen, Madigan Army Hospital, that's where I got uh, that's where I got operated on. So I've I've got uh, I've got some ties there. So wow, yeah. shout out to those guys. I still have my eye, by the way. So Yeah, I spent a lot of time at Fort Lewis. Love the place. Well, my dad served in the now I've always wanted to ask you this. My dad served in the Army and the Air Force. How common is that? Actually, it's fairly common nowadays. Oh. Uh, okay. Especially um in the special operations. A lot of guys who are top performers. Mm-hmm. That's very physically punishing. Okay. And uh, right around 30, 32, yeah, your top performance becomes very hard. Okay. All right. But a lot of them like, hey, you know what? I really enjoy jumping. Sure. You know, they, they make the switch over to the Air Force, become a crew chief, or work on a helicopter, and... You know, it works out for him. There was n- listen. That does not describe my dad at all. Yeah, like my dad was. Listen, he was an aircraft mechanic. I don't know what he did in the army. I have no idea. I was too young. But yeah, he was not those guys. Yeah. Well, <laughs> now, well, there's also um, a problem with the Air Force that they have a hard time accepting people from like the Marines and the Army. Why? Because you can't really punish them. <laughs> like we're gonna ground you to your room for a week. All right. Right. Yeah, they don't care. Sweet nectar. One week of Xbox? All right! (laughs) Like in the Army, I'd be like, oh, okay. A 24-mile road march. There you go. Okay, that's on Monday. On Wednesday, 12-mile road march. And then you're going to take a PT test on Sunday. Okay, so it's true what they say that the Air Force, shout out to the Air Force. We love you guys. That's the softest of the Air Force. Oh, yeah. They're they're Chow Hall's Denny's. (laughs) Like I, No, I'm serious. I I used to jump in my car. Pack it full of rangers and go. Hey, let's go to let's go let's fuck go, with let's go Air, to Force. Air Force and eat at their chow hall because you, you just show me your ID card. Yeah, Back right. You're good. Day, you're like, oh yeah, yeah. It was like Denny's. You didn't have to even pick up your your crap on the table. You just get up and leave, and they come clean it up for you. I'm Holy like, shit, man! You gotta be kidding me. So in army, you're like the redheaded stepchild, but oh, then the- you go to the Air Force, and it's like. I'm oh. very disappointed. In yes, you. right. No, I right. need you to go and well, sit in the corner, and I want you to think about what you think did. about what you did. Well, I went to I went to Pendleton to go to sniper school, the Marine Corps Scout Sniper. Their chow hall was just brutal. Jesus, I remember I'm in there, and they're like, "What do you want, Army Dog?" Everyone called me Army Dog. Right, right. Hey, Key, you want some carrots? A grilled cheese sandwich and a mashed <laughs> potato, sir. Like they like just throw the food on there. I'm looking at the food. I'm like. This is really not that good, <laughs> but it's all I got. So an expiration go. date on this stuff here? Like, no, no. They, I mean, I'm sure it was good, but you know, it was Pendleton. It's the Marines. What are you can do? They, they treat their people terribly. The Marine Corps is bad to their people. Well, this is why Marines are hard, right? Like, this is. I mean, listen. That this is why. And and anytime, I don't know. I think Marines, as far as the armed forces are concerned, they get the most respect. Yeah, I was in the Air Force. Okay, thanks for your service. I was in the Army. Okay, people perk up a little bit. But when you say you were in the Marines, oh, yeah, it's, oh, wow, you were in the Marines. You don't even have to be Special Ops, uh, Green Beret, Black Ops. No, if you were in the Marines, you automatically, you were a made guy. Yep. I'm going to be honest. um, Like, the Marine Corps has the worst retention rate. So that means if you enlist for, you know, four to six years, Mm -hmm. um, 80 some odd percent of those people are doing one enlistment and getting out Fuck. for a reason. Paris Island. And well, no, no. It's they just they're just terrible to their people. Like for instance, really? during, during Iraq when I was there in 04, I was there for the first and the t- and the tail end of the second Fallujah fights. Okay. Oh, wow. That's when things kind of went sideways. Well, the thing right? is is like the Marines 
you know, when you when you're attacking a big objective like that, it, it's drawn into combat lanes. Mm-hmm. And then your units are assigned their combat lane, and they're supposed to stay in their lane. All right. And the one that was assigned to the Marines took thirty percent more casualties than the Army because they fight dumb. Damn, dude. And I talked about this in my book, "The War Is Weighing the Soldier Soul." Yeah. What, you know, what color is bravado? Blood red. Damn, dude. It, it was terrible. So they're brave, but not too smart. No, no, it's not that. Uh, it, I can't really listen. I can't put my finger on what the deal is. But something is amiss. Something there. is amiss. Okay. But I, I'll tell you this: in my thirty-three year career, I have put probably uh, between one hundred and two hundred former Marines into the Army, and they made stellar soldiers. Okay, there you go. And the Marine Corps missed out by not retaining these guys. Okay, so it's not that the Marine Corps is hard per se; it's just because they're terrible to their to their people. They they treat their people poorly. Their Man, their, their, their promotion rates are crap. You know, they get in trouble at the drop of a hat, take a stripe for nothing. It's just ridiculous. Shit, man! Who the that, hell? That, that is listen. That's just my opinion. I'm not bashing the Marine Corps. I think they're awesome. I'm just saying, from what I saw, that is my opinion. Oh yeah, okay. you said many times that pound for pound. Coming right out of basic oh. Paris Island, best yep. soldiers on the planet. No, That's an, right. o, an 0311 Marine, which is the standard straight leg infantry, bar, bar none is the best guy coming, the, the best, the hardest soldier in the planet yeah. right off of the forge. The Army can't even keep up with that until until they finish like airborne school mm-hmm. and spend some time in like their, you know, their, their unit, paratrooper unit. Sure. Because, you know, standard 0311 Marines are on par with, you know, 82nd Airborne. Yeah, guys. right, right. It's just they don't jump. Jesus, man. That's why Marines get the most respect. That's yeah, why I think. you know, I'm going to be honest. This, you know, I, they're, they're, some hard, they're, they're harder than a woodpecker lips. You got that right. <laughs> well, uh, with that being said, there was one comment that I was supposed to give to you. Okay. So, okay. Donovan. Not going to say I like you, but <laughs> and then keep going, winky emoji face, and then it says producer, sell him, tell him I said this. Well, there you go. You're, you're said, not going to say I like you. That's funny, man. And oh. if you can direct your attention to the monitor over there, just because I want you to know that I'm not completely full of shit. Look, there's the article. Holy I contracted shit, there it is. awards, uh, why I'm not ashamed. <laughs> That listen, I'm doing I'm doing that show. Listen, I'm back in the studio on Monday. I'm doing my next show on that. That is incredible. It is. This chick wrote an article telling everyone that she's contracted genital warts and she's not ashamed of it. And then she still has the balls to be surprised that men don't want to date that. Yep. Now this, listen, that's delusion, man. I, I, I mean, I, my heart goes out to this woman. I, I want her to live a happy life, and I'm sorry of. You know, she she bought into the feminism lies yep. and just train wrecked her life. Okay, the best thing for her to do is realize that she's been lied to and try to salvage what she's got. Mm. Yeah, I think what what women like, and it's it's interesting because Richard Cooper, uh, as well as Joker, they have a sizable female following. And there are females who do listen to this content and genuinely want to know, okay, listen, bought into the feminist lie my life is shit what do i do they can't read cosmopolitan anymore because they realize that that's led them astray they can't trust feminist websites they can't trust the huffington post they can't trust bold.com or medium so now they're asking they never ask me because i just don't i don't give a shit like to me women have enough resources women come to my program or they'll super chat hey donovan how do i blah 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 or how do i how can i prepare for a good man here's a cookbook and a treadmill that's 39.95 <laughs> i don't give a shit like they, they they have plenty listen there are plenty of other guys who are going to give them that advice i don't i don't help women i help men but what they under but when joker and uh and richard do is they let these women know in no uncertain terms hey like it's kind of too late for you if you want to salvage your dating life, if you want any semblance of a chance to lock down a man of even just just a modicum of value, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to give some stuff up. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to stop going out. You're gonna have to stop sleeping around. Well, I have kids. Yeah, understand. That's gonna greatly diminish your dating options. Men of value don't want to date women with kids that aren't theirs. It's just not gonna happen anymore. So, yeah, man. I mean, I mean, the boat can look great. Of course. Is it going to go anywhere while it's dragging three or four anchors behind it? I'm going to go with no. Yes. There. Yeah, I'm going to go with no, yeah. yeah. I mean, granted, women have children. That's just the way it is. Sure. 
now I I date women with children, but I think I would have a hard time dating a woman with like young children. You know what's interesting? I think there's something to that. Um, if a woman, let's I mean, it, like you figure a woman in her late 30s, early 40s probably has a couple of teenaged kids, right? Yeah. So they're probably for the most part on autopilot. Not to say that she doesn't need to be a mother or anything like that, but. She doesn't have to be up under them all the time, right? Like yeah. they, they're 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 potty trained. They speak English. They can, you know, they can survive, I guess, without them if they had to. So I would never advocate for anyone to date a single mother. But if you were to, you're probably gonna have to go a little bit older because you 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 don't want her kids to constantly be coming between you. And the quandary that single mothers are in is if they're a good girlfriend to you, they're probably gonna have to be a bad mom. If they're a good mom, they're going to be a bad girlfriend. You can't serve two gods. That's, that's the, right. That's oh the quagmire of the single mom. That is awesome. You can't serve two gods. You can't. Do you remember the, the dating confessions episode that we did where yeah. the dude actually confessed to dating the single mom and then banging the teenage daughter? Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, I remember wow. that. Oh. I'm not even shit. sure if that actually made it into the episode because I know there was about seven or eight of them that we ruled out because they were just disgusting. That's terrible. I would. Oh, I can't even believe that. that if somebody needs to go to jail. <laughs> well, legally jail. speaking, if they're in, say, I don't know, Washington yep. State. I, I don't mean, know. I mean, and they're sixteen. Yeah, you know. Listen, I mean, obviously, that's you know. You're gonna get a lot of hate, but yeah. It's funny, man. The the the, the typical dating arc of the American female. At sixteen years old, they say age ain't nothing but a number, right? They're fucking guys in their twenties and thirties. 16 years later, they're like, your, your your girlfriend is 20 years old? You pedophile. 16 years after that, it's, oh, hashtag cougar life, hashtag MILF. Oh my Women Lord. do whatever serves them, right? Yes. Age, is, age is only a factor when they say it's a factor. And they love to bag on men. Oh, my God, you're in your 40s. What are you doing dating a woman in your 20s? Well, you didn't have a problem banging guys in their 40s when you were in your 20s. So what does? why is that wrong for me? Oh, I know why it's wrong because I'm not fucking you anymore. Yeah. Well, this what you said right there falls right into the philosophy I have is that women do what they want to do. Yep. And men do what they have to do. That's it. Wow, that's and, that's and good. Wi like women, like, oh, I want to follow my dream. That's what I wanted. That's my passion. That's I right. love. And guess what? They follow these career paths that they love, or it's their dream. Very seldom do those actually pay off. Yes, because J O B is not spelled F U N. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'll drop something else on you. Here's something else that women need to understand, and and. Some lessons can be taught. In other words, you can hear something profound and you can say, okay, that makes sense. I'm not going to go down that path. Most lessons, unfortunately for all of us, have to be learned. Here's that lesson. The more money, the more power, the more toys, the more influence a woman acquires, the further she shrinks her pool of potential suitors. And the reason for that is, of course, hypergamy. It, it is, it is oh, in yeah. a woman's, it's in a woman's firmware. Listen, women, they, it's, they're, hard drive absolutely positively will not allow them to become sexually attracted in the long term with a man whose perceived value is equal to or less than her correct That's just not going to happen they come out of they come out of the f the meat box yes. program that yes. way Yep. And I mean, it, 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 they don't realize this. They're like, okay, well, I'm a junior partner at a law firm. Then they work their way up to the senior partner. And then they wonder where have all the good men yeah. gone? No, well, like, for them, if they're a senior partner, well, I need to date the CEO of XYZ there Corporation. There and he's go. just like, well, you're 40. Yeah, right. Why, why would I? No, 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 no. I'm going to go after all these like 20 go, to the 24 year old secretaries. 20 to 28. There you go. There you okay. go. The one that are like, you know, tighter than a snare drum. That's all right. I don't care if they serve muffins at you know the muffin don't shop. Don't give a shit. Doesn't yeah. matter. Listen, uh, a rich guy will date a girl who works at Wendy's if she's hot enough. That's just how it is. All but, day long. I mean, that, I mean, that's just the way it is. We don't care. Now, a, a woman of means. Now, will she fuck the dude who works at Wendy's? Sure, but nobody's gonna find out about it, and she's it, damn sure not thinking about anything not, long term. Yeah, she's not gonna allow anyone to see oh, her no, doing that. No, 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 no. Uh, and no, no. Well, what were you doing with uh, Daquan? The oh, no, no. He's uh, one of those at risk youth. I give him a ride to work every day. Yeah, sure, Wanda. I've been, yeah, I've it's been not that the guy. kind of ride she's giving wow. him. When oh, I was, yes. when I was, <laughs> when I was an airborne ranger. 175 pounds, 4% body fat. He was ripped. 
I mean, I, was, I, I slung seed like an old bird feeder, and there were some women in there that were questionable. No, no, no. They're, Marginal, they're, they're maybe? They were higher tier women. Oh, okay. okay. But I, like, oh, yeah, come on at 11.30. Yeah, right. Right, okay. right, 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 right. right. So I, I that, didn't care. I'm right. like, all right. Cool, I'll be 11.30. There it is. Yeah, right. So was that before or after the Hog Slayer days? I was during the Hog Slayer days, you know. But well, well, now see, Terrence Pop is an equal opportunity slayer, right? First of all, now you can say that. I'm brutally honest. I'm not a good liar. Okay. Like my whole life is on the internet. (laughs) That's just how it is. Now listen, when you are in the military and you are going the field all the time, or you any any time, like hey, you got to go for three weeks here, two weeks there, blah blah blah. There's almost no notice. You really can't have long-lasting relationships. Yeah. But the women who are a little roomy, they're still good-looking. And guess what? When I came back to the barracks on Sunday, I had a lasagna. Okay. Who can say no to that? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, listen, you're Hate right. Hate me if you must. I, 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 no. I accept it. Listen, all things considered, if you're if you're out doing, you know, if you're out doing, like, field work, whatever the case may be, you don't see another female for three weeks and all of a sudden, you know, your commander turns you loose for thirty six hours. Yeah, oh, it's you're going. It's going. It's down. going down. Like you're. Listen, you're slay. You're slaying the first thing with two X chromosomes that even looks in your general direction. So I can understand that. It's going down. Yeah. It, yes, it, yes, it is. And apparently, it's going so is she. Down. Any, any more super chats? <laughs> We, we got a lot of super chats. If you guys want me to read them. Yeah, yeah, read, yeah, them. yeah read them. Yeah, I'm sure, listen, I'm sure there are a lot of guys in the chat <laughs> talking shit. Well, I love my, it. My personal favorite here, I, I, I don't know where, I think uh, Chris Carlson, I think, said it. Uh, Amy Horton ribbed for your, no, Man of Eck, a uh, fitting screen name for this comment. Amy Horton ribbed for your pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking perfect. All Ooh-wee. right, we got a ten dollars super chat from Bird of Prey. Okay. Says, "I'll start the flow. Raise a toast to the men of men." Yes, sweet. Combat mechanic four ninety nine super chat says, "Toast to our brothers in arms. Air Force beats Army." Ooh, that's fighting words. That's fighting words. Well, for, no, no, I, I, for comfort, and you know they 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 beat us all day long. Comfort, I, yeah. Well, I, I saw those guys setting up like uh, their their forward operating base. Okay, I remember I walked into their headquarters. There's a couch. There's a big screen TV. There's, like, all the latest electronics. Air conditioning. Oh, wow. Army, luxury. you go in there. There's nothing but a cot, sandbags, maybe a machine gun sticking out. Those guys, the Air Force are, are like, masters at the sham. I love it. No wonder people flock to the Air Force in droves, right? They know it's the easiest. It, oh, listen, it is what it like. If my children had to go into the service, God forbid, I would say go in the Air Force. Oh, okay. So you would advise them to do that, okay? If they had to, okay, right. go in the Air Force. It, okay. it, I mean, it even just comes down to their marching song, you know? Oh yeah, it, Air Force marching song. Off we go into the wild blue. Yeah, that's the only military marching song that could actually be performed by Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. I guess you almost so. halfway uh, expect them to sing. What was the song the Seven Dwarfs used to sing uh, when they'd go off to work or oh, something? Whistle while you yeah, work. whistle. Uh, yes, right. Yeah, that, that, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, uh, Paul Byrne, five euro super chat says, Ooh. "You brought your shot glass yoke pop. Thank you for all the fight pouring my menagerie." And then uh, he had another one right after that. Hello from Ireland, you old bullocks. Or, or hello Good. from Ireland, you old bullocks. <laughs> <laughs> Try to do the voice there. I like the, I like the accent. whiskey too, yeah. yeah. Scrooge McDuck. Yeah. Somebody was asking Donovan to do a shot on camera with Pop. Nah, I, I know not. whiskey is. Uh, I know you love your whiskey, but it right is now, a weakness of mine. Yeah, better oh, not do yeah, that. Yeah, it would. Do that. Yeah, listen, I would. I mean, listen, I would love to, but it would. It would. It would. Not it would all well. be. It would. It would. Yeah, that would be all bad. It's all. Yeah, we got to go to dinner after this. Oh, yeah. So there's going to be whiskey sours at that point. I'm sure. You know it. Yahoo! All right, uh, Doctor Fy or D R F Y E, whatever. Uh, Ten dollar Canadian super chat says, "I mean, it's men going their own way. Stands to reason there won't be a completely unanimous opinion on how to live your life. No. Okay. However, we do seem to be identifying a common pr- common problem nowadays. The common problem is this: that the laws on the books yep. will absolutely train wreck a man if he decides to." marry a woman or in canada live with her for more than six months 
Ooh. Yeah, you're talking about the dude who has to oh, pay yeah. alimony to oh, a yeah. chick that he wouldn't even yes. marry to, right? He yeah. wasn't married to. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's just. Yeah. Well, listen, he got shafted. There were some. He. This guy tried to cheat the game, right? He thought that because he had given her this allowance and all this other kind of stuff, I think he had asked her to marry him at some point, and she turned him down, which says to me she didn't want to marry him, but of course she ran off and started doing other dudes. Then when she was done, she decided, okay, now I want to be married to this guy and took him to the cleaners. So, Yep. It's, 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 it is amazing, and it, it shouldn't surprise anybody that – and this is why guys are going MGTOW, because if you so much as interact with a woman, you're risking something. You're risking harassment, uh, getting hashtag me too Like, see, this is, th this is what's happened over the past decade or so, or actually over the past few decades. The way it used to be, in order to extrapolate resources from men, and let me go back one more step, and, and, and I promise I'm going to bring this back around. The three main pillars of feminism – Number one, to the transference of resources from women to men. That's the first pillar. From men to women. From men to women. Yes, that's correct. The second pillar is to remove all responsibility from women, placing it upon men, while removing all accountability from women and placing it onto men. Okay? That's the second pillar. The third pillar is to remove all sexual strengths from women while placing them on men. And that's where we've come around. So in order to extrapolate resources for men back in the day, you had to marry, you had to be married, you had to have had a few kids and been married for 10 years. So if a guy decides, you know what, that's it, I've had it, the state would come in and say, you know what, Marianne was a good wife for all we know. Paul decided that he wanted to run off with the secretary. Okay, Paul, listen, man, you made these kids, you have to make this woman whole again. Not necessarily fair, but listen, she gave him 10 years and three kids. Okay, I guess she's entitled to something. Men decided, okay, I don't want to get, I don't want to get divorce raped, so I'm not gonna get married. I'm just gonna have random kids, which, which, which is in and of itself, it's, it's still the wrong thing to do. But now the state says, okay, if you are, if you, you don't have to be married, but guess what? If you have kids with this woman, you're gonna have to pay her child support if you guys don't live together. But the thing is, the child support usually ends between 18 and 21, there you depending go. upon the state you're in. But if you get hit with Alice isn't horny anymore money, dude, you can pay that for the rest of your life. That's As right. As per Chris Rock, right? you're making pussy payments on something you don't get to pump anymore. Well, that see, now that goes to what it is now. Then the, I guess the MGTOW and the Red Pill movement kind of started, and Guy said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not going to get married. I'm not going to get the state involved. I'm going to get I'm gonna get a vasectomy. I'm just going to live with my girlfriend. Now we've got a guy in Canada that's got to pay alimony to a woman he was never married to, never had any kids with. It's no way. And, and so you, t you take all that along with the, well, if you get drunk and have sex with a girl, if she was drunk, she couldn't consent. If you look at a girl funny, you get. So it's becoming risky to even interact with women. So yes. it, it the, the way that the laws are set up now, you don't even have to fuck a woman or have kids with her to 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 risk anything. This is why guys look the other way when women come. You want to know what women are doing? Why don't guys look at us anymore? Yeah. Why don't where's they? Because all, we're where's risking. Where's all the attention? Right. Yeah. You don't even have to stick your dick in a woman anymore to risk losing something. This is why men are, even now, I'm in a cohabitating relationship. You don't think that I'm, there's, there's got to be some risk involved on my end, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. For now, I guess it's worth it. Who knows? In two to three years, it might not be. But this is why this, is why this community exists. Because... Because even interacting with women can get you into trouble, into trouble legally or otherwise. But the world is, t but but the, but women are asking us, why aren't men? Why don't they approach us anymore? Why don't men want to get married? Why don't even men want to live with each other? Because if we do, we're risking something, and guys don't want to risk that anymore. That's right. In fact, we're working on um, like a webinar kind of thing called the Working Man Survival Guide. Oh, well, that and sounds interesting. Me too. Oh, it's good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm putting together a list of equipment and then, um, you know, all the disciplines that you need. You need to have a lot of self-discipline. Dude, protect this yourself. has a lot of, that has potential. The self-discipline, that's the part. Yeah. That's the part, man. It's we'll see important. if Amazon will let us become, like, uh, merchant partners so we can sell all this, like, security equipment and stuff. Yeah, that's dudes. funny because as soon as Amazon figures out, dude, I've had five Amazon affiliate links. <laughs> and as soon as they find out who I'm, it, dude, I've had three, Devin's had two. As soon as they link Devin's account with what I'm doing, that's it. Boom. Nope. 
And yeah. all we're doing is trying to help guys That's all we're so they to don't do, commit suicide, wind up homeless. There you go. Or, or just train wreck their lives over nothing. Well, don't you know, Terrence, you should not be doing that? Like, listen, we as men, we have all the advantages. It's the women who are oppressed. Far be it from us to help a group, a, a group of people that are privileged and listen, oppressing the women. I, I cannot, in good conscience, stand by and do nothing. Totally agree. I can't. I mean, men I, are cl- listen. Men are clueless and they're fucking angry, man. A lot of men are so angry, in fact, that when they first watch our content. They blame us. You're full of shit, Donovan. It's almost like they're in denial, like they're yelling at us and crying because deep down inside they know we're telling the truth. I totally get that. Dude, and then they the come time. around. I'm telling you, man, no, like no, like your funny. biggest detractors become your biggest fans. Now, your biggest detractors either become your biggest fans or they start their little rink-a-dink YouTube channels and do nothing but post R- videos about you. Oh, I have I have a troll that does that. Do you really? Yeah, yeah. She, I mean, she gets, I've got, I've got I, three I of them. I think it's a woman. It looks like a woman. You're talking about the one that just got sent to us on Patreon? Well, yeah, but apparently this this person's been doing it for a while. See, I never yeah. become aware of these people until one of my patrons are, hey, this guy does nothing but – I have four, and I'm not going to mention their names. There are four people, four YouTubers, who do nothing but do videos about me. I've had three women start channels and do videos about me. The first one, her name was Joy Isabel. Um, I roasted her. Then there was Lisa Faye. I took a legal action against her. Oh, no you one did? has. Oh yes, and no one has seen or heard from her since. Her videos are down. What what, what did she do? Uh, she called. Um, what she did is she called me the COVID nineteen of the manosphere, and I I took personal pride in that. So I invited her to call my show, and you know what she did? She says, Donovan, you're inciting violence. What? I said, what? She says, what are you going to do when some when a man kills a woman and says, Donovan told me to do that? I ended the phone call right there. That right, th- dude, that was libelous. That was slanderous. That was it. She got her funding pulled for her dating app. I forgot what her BS dating app was. All that's done. She got fired from her job. And, so uh, yeah. the, the, so she, the, she's trying to blame you for all the e- for evil that happened. No. What she was trying to do is get my channel taken down. Oh, yeah, yeah. She knows I'm not inciting violence. But by in, in, in all of her videos, she put in the key words that would target like, homophobia, inciting violence, incel, Elliot Roger. Like she was actively trying to damage my channel. And that was all I needed to do what I needed to do and... She is a ghost. She, You might see her on Instagram every now and again. Third girl was a woman named H is a letter H. Uh, she's some black chick. I think she might be French. She talked a bunch of trash about me, and and uh, she, she wore a wig. But she's 27. She looks like she's 47. Oh, shit. So, so I'm um, three. That, that's a hag. Uh, you, dude, totally. She, she's, she, she, well, I've had many high-value men. So you've had many high-value men, and you travel the world? Yeah, sounds kind of like an escort to me. Yeah. Yeah, right. So I'm undefeated against these, uh, these YouTube bitches. The other guys I'm working on now, I'm actually taking some uh, – and you guys know who you are, and it's going to take some time. <laughs> but but the guys who do YouTube videos about me, your your day is coming. So well, I mean, by all means, keep it up. I mean, I, I think in my uh, comments, I don't really moderate them anymore. Yeah, I don't read so my many. comments. Yeah, No, I do read them. I oh, do I, read them, but I there's can. so many I just don't respond to them anymore. But in the early days, I, I got some like real crazy uh, um, comments, and I think, I, I think maybe – in seven years, I've banned like thirty people. I banned thirty people last month, man. <laughs> you kidding me? No, I, I allow a lot of crazy stuff on my comment section, and uh, because I believe in free speech. As now, long I as they're not going off the rails. We don't really care. No. Well, no. that's the thing is well, that, no, it, I, and I'm I, about. I, free I had speech. one that was like trying to accuse me of rape. Oh, ban. Gotta go. Gotta go. Yeah. You, you gotta talk go. about my children. Yep. Banned. Yep. I'm not putting up with any of that. Okay, and then uh, there was a couple of people that were like, you know, I'm going to find you, put the yep. crosshairs on you, and end you. And I'm like, banned. Listen, trolls have evolved. They have evolved. They know that saying, Donovan's a loser, that doesn't register anymore, right? No. What they do, they try to get your attention. They try to get yeah. your attention. I'm going to come, I'm going to find your house. I'm going to rape Devin. I'm going to kill you. They got to go. Like, th- no, they oh, go from oh, zero yeah. to 60 like that. 
Yep. It's listen. If if uh, Donovan's a loser, he's ugly. Okay, fine, whatever. If that's what you want to think, that's what you're you think. You're probably but, gay. You have a small penis. Yeah, yeah right, uh, right. That's all. That, that's. And stand. by the way, for the record, I do not have a small penis. I uh, will I have you know. I do not want to know. I don't care. I am t- listen. I am two and one half inches, people. <laughs> I do not have a small penis from but, the ground. From, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Two and a half inches from the ground, Devin's in the comments here, so I know she's going to weigh in. Like, Devin, I don't want to know. Just, just as a preemptive strike, uh, I don't want to know. <laughs> oh, is she in there? Is she in there talking? Oh, there's a one There's one guy in here talking some trash, and she's like, say that to his face, and he's like, okay. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and again, that's my weakness, right, is, and this is why I may or may not have gotten into some legal trouble in Las Vegas, because I don't like it when people – speak to me or address me in such a way that implies that they know that there are no consequences. And that's what these keyboard internet gangsters like to do. They talk a bunch of shit. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Okay, that's fine. But you wouldn't say that in front of me because I'd knock all of your teeth out. Right. So that, listen, if that's what they're comfortable doing, if that's what they're comfortable doing, that's fine. But I can't pay attention to the comment section anymore because I have a weakness for cowards. And people say, Donovan, just ignore it. And I'm like, dude, yeah. I just so, can't. So I, I just I just don't read the comments so anymore. You get angry. Yes, I get. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. I talk about this in my book All right, about anger. Everyone has anger, and it is actually a useful emotion that humans need. Oh, my God. It's a hell of a lot but more here's useful the key. than despair. In your mind, you take that anger, you put them in the boiler room, you give him a shovel, and you go, you can shovel all of the coal you want into that furnace to keep me going, but you don't ever touch the control surfaces. Oh, God. Man, because man. if you do, if anger gets up in, into the cabin and starts steering you. Yeah, it's over. It's a two dimen- you're, you, you can only operate in two dimensions. Yeah. Yeah. And if your opponent is a three- and four-dimensional thinker, you'll be outmaneuvered every single time. I agree. I when agree. anger takes over, you get Portland and Seattle. Yep. Yes, that's very true. And, you know, the thing is, is I don't consider myself to be an intellectual. I'm smart enough not to sound stupid. I know money and I know women, right? Yeah. Like, that's, that's, like, I'm not, like, I'm not here to say, oh, I'm some intelligent, I'm not some intelligent savant. I know how women operate. I know how their brains work. That's why I am where I am and that's why I am who I am. But these th- these guys are operating three dimensionally, and I'm just not mentally equipped to handle that. I just, for whatever reason, I can't not get angry at people who talk shit about me, who know I can't do anything about it. So I don't read the I don't read the comments. I, I left Devin to do it. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. No, no, you, I gotta stay away from that stuff. What you're doing is you realize. Yes, I have. I have. A, a, I have a problem. A chink in my armor. <laughs> yes, yes. And yes. you allow somebody to cover that hole. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. It's Otherwise, cool. I'll be crazy. Oh yeah. Because in the early days, I don't know, I probably had 500 subscribers. All my comments, Donovan, you're the man, you're this, you're that. Then you get up around maybe 1,500, 2,000 subscribers. Now you start getting a little bit of, you know, a little bit of dissension. Like, okay, I've made it. People are starting to hate. Oh, yeah. Then when starting you get really hate. big, that's when you get people threatening your family. I'm going to come and kill your dogs. And listen, you can threaten my girlfriend. You can talk shit about my girlfriend. Okay, that makes me a little bit upset because I've had people do that before. You threaten my dog, you got to go. <laughs> you got to go. It's just like scary movies. We'll just watch people get slaughtered all day long, but you can't hurt the dog. <laughs> yeah, can't hurt the dog. No. I'm, I understand. I'm, I understand. Yeah, I have a weakness. I have a no, and I have a documented anger problem. It's called intermittent explosive disorder. I have been diagnosed with this. Wow. All right. Yeah, yeah. and so knowing knowing this about myself, I don't expose myself to This is why all my commenters that everything is behind a paywall. If you want my attention, you have to pay for it. You can't comment unless you're a member. It's not for the money. It's just to keep idiots out of my comments. That's it. So yeah. So basically, you don't suffer idiots well. Yeah. No. No. I do. And not. unfortunately, oh this world has a never-ending. Oh, cr- some some assholes out there cranking the idiot box. Oh Jesus! Pumping out idiots 365. You just can't. And those are the horniest life. sons of bitches out there, man. Because idiots make more idiots. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm allergic to stupid, which is why I stopped reading YouTube comments. I walked around <laughs> covered in hives. in hives. Dude, I'm telling you. <laughs> it explains my face. Yeah, I saw that one comment. I glanced over at the wrong time. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> all right so you bastards let's talk about like um something that is we know it's coming down the pipe okay okay it start uh, i started reading about this in australia three to five years ago it's basically 
uh, the developing drought of men that is going to oh, happen yeah. in the Western world. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. If you think feminism is bad here in Australia, it's going way down under. Yes. Yes, what, it is. In Australia, I mean, I have a, this, this is a prediction. As the red pill and the MGTOW philosophy grows, because there's it's self replicating. Yes. Yeah. It's a reaction to the laws and, and, yes, and the customs. Absolutely. We're going to start seeing a lot of stupid laws on the books. Yes, we are. Targeting men because they simply don't want to participate anymore right. in a system that's rigged. Right. Now, as a logical person, would either of you go into a casino and play poker where you only get one or you get one pick at the cards where the dealer gets three? Hell no. Hell no. That's what I do that for. Right? It's rigged. Right. There's no way I would do that. Right. Right. And that's that's what that, that's what's happening with. And I talked about this before. You don't even have to be in a sexual relationship with a woman to to subject yourself to the risks. Um, six months ago, I think I read somewhere that there is a movement in Australia called Twig Tau. Teens going there. I, listen, you can Google oh. it. Sweet. Teens going their own way. This is how we bad feminism that. is. Is oh. you've got teenagers who are like, oh, what do they say over there? Crikey, you know, crikey, crikey. crikey It'll be your steamer, and I'm not talking about the one I leave on your chest, us. mate. Right? Yeah, that's my my bad. Are there any black people in Australia? I think they're like seven, uh, no, maybe nine. There are some. I think they're. I know this is Aborigines. Yeah, like which twelve, are, like twelve black. I don't know. In Australia, don't but know. but it's it's so bad there. Even teenagers are starting to wake up. Yeah, man, that's great. Down. Uh, no, I'm that trying to it. I'm trying to get the teenagers here in America to. Oh God! Because you know we're now on our what? We're we're now like on our what? Uh, third or fourth generation of men. Being, yep. You know, raised without their father. Yep. They've seen their father, grandfather, possibly their great grandfather get ran through the coals. Ran through, just like their mom. It's like, <laughs> just like their mama. It. You beat me to it. <laughs> and and they're like, hey, wait a minute. I'm a dude. I've watched my father, grandfather, and great grandfather right. get wrecked. Mm -hmm. Why do I want to participate in this? Because that is that's what's in store for me. Yes. Yes. It's bad news, bears. Well, not only that is boys in America see what's happening. But the reason why, probably less less so now, but the reason why boys are still jumping into relationships, jumping into the trap, is because most people in America are raised by women. Um, I don't know what the percentages are. Probably two out of three, maybe. Well, okay. Half, basically half of the people born don't have a father. Yes. When you average it out. 70% of all of the teachers they ever encounter are women. That's right. So you have a large group of dudes getting to the age of 18, getting their manhood by default, yep. and have had nothing but women examples. Right, right. There are no rites of passage anymore. No. Just turn 18 and get laid, and you're a man, question mark. Which is ridiculous. Listen, women in the black teach community. teach us emotions. Men teach us structure and boundaries. Which is exactly yeah. why uh, young men are so fucking emotional. You can see it in the comments and in your and in the chat. Yeah, you can tell which guys are young and which guys are not. They're like, okay, that dude's being emotional. That dude was. Obviously. You remember the mall Santa Claus who got mad at the Mangina syndrome episode? Oh, yeah, that was good. <laughs> He's that such an a hole. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, there's definitely uh, there's definitely a a, a masculinity uh, crisis across the world. I actually had Sterling Cooper, um, male adult film star, on my show Ooh, yesterday. Really, he's from Australia, and he I mean obviously he grew up steeped in the in the in the feminist sewage, and he says it is really really bad out there. And the three countries that feminism seems to have infected the most is the United or actually four the United States, Canada. Uh, Great Britain and Australia, and it is starting to spread. Even there are certain parts of Brazil, Brazil, South America, that used to be the land of milk and honey if you wanted true femininity, and it still kind of is. But feminism is even feminism starting to even break down those strongholds. Of it's breaking into India now too. Oh my, There's oh my a god! Huge that is, that is going like to be false, a huge false grapefruit allegations going on. Over there. <laughs> That's oh gonna be god. a huge shitstorm. You know, here's another thing that really bothers me. It's I have these women are like, well, if you were a real man, you would do it. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. All right. You're a woman 
trying to tell me how I'm a real man. Right. I'm like, bitch, I've been to three wars. I've led men in battle from the front and by example. What more do you want from me? Well, Terrence, that's only because of your privilege. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if she doesn't have your money, she don't want to hear the funny. Yeah. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. But think about it this way, right? Women are steady talking about, well, if you were a real man, if I were to tell women, listen, here's how to be a good mother. Here's how to birth a kid, right? They would laugh. They'd Why? Laugh in your I've face. Never been, right, I've never been pregnant, and they should laugh at me. What the fuck do I know about having a fucking kid? So if I can't teach you on how to birth a kid, then shut the fuck up about you telling me about what a real... You know what? Check this out. What A real man, if you are a real man, translation. <laughs> insert whatever. Insert the action that benefits me while damaging you. A real man does whatever benefits me and damages you as Correct. a man. That's exactly what that means. Or a slave. There you go. Yeah. A real man takes care of another man's kids when that other man didn't step up. A real man helps out a woman in need even though she doesn't have a job. A real man puts food <laughs> on the table for a woman who's down on her luck. A real man marries a single mom who has three kids by maybe four different men. Rinse and repeat. <laughs> Rinse and repeat. But, yeah, I mean, basically, um, in the because you know, the reproduction oh, rate is good. – the lowest it's ever been since yes. they started tracking it, and it's only going to get worse. No, this I agree. man drought is not going away, and uh, the lawmakers of all of these countries need to say, "Hey, you know what? <laughs> we need to unfuck ourselves because we're going to wind up going down the drain of extinction." If we yeah, don't. we're going to run out of people, man. Guys are afraid. <laughs> Mascu traditional masculinity has been legislated out of our society. If you act like a man, you're gonna get in trouble. Yes. That's it. I mean, you you can't you cannot act traditionally masculine and again not risk something in return. All right. They'll call you toxic. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Here's yes, the yes, story. Yes. Here's the story. All right. Situation. Uh, individual uh, involved um, with my ex. Okay. I'm not gonna add any more on that. Talking smack about me to my young children. Oh, boy. My children come to me to hang out on the weekend. They're upset. Okay. And they tell me what's going on. Well, on Monday, by 9.45, I had known where this dude worked. Oh, boy. I had, you know, I basically called there and found out what shift he was on. Oh, man. 3.45, he gets off work. I'm in my pickup truck standing out there, full uniform. His whole crew's with him coming out. I go, Hey. This is uh, Michigan, a mutual combat state. You want to talk shit about me? Do it to my face. Right. Let's go right now. Did he fight you? Oh, no. Of course not. I wouldn't have. No. <laughs> I'm 6'2". I wouldn't have fought you, dude. No, no. He's like, oh, yeah. And, and then I'm like, hey, uh, all you guys pay attention to this guy because he's being a coward. Right. So guess right. what? He calls the cops. Oh. Files a report. Of course he fucking does the next day because I, I knew the chief of police in that city <laughs> okay calls the chief of police calls me at, at, at my work say hey uh pop come in here i need to see you at lunch i'm like uh okay i roll in there he's just like so uh tell me what happened yesterday and, and i tell him the whole story he goes oh that guy's a fucking asshole okay so he knows him then okay so he goes all right i'm gonna tell you what's up we're gonna erase the tape of his call Wow. The report's going to go away. And don't you ever do that again. <laughs> Basically slapped you on the wrist. I was like, okay, all right. Yeah, well. You said Michigan's a mutual combat state. Does that mean that if you, like, if you, hey, all listen, right. I agree to assault you, you assault me? Like, it's almost like Two a Two guys go into the parking lot to fight. Okay. They agree to fight. Okay. There's really, I mean... It, you really can't do assault and battery because they both agree to fight each other. That's like a boxing license. And what a lot of people don't understand about boxing and MMA is as a professional fighter, when you are in the ring or the octagon, you are given a license to assault another man. Correct. That's like that's a big thing. So if this is a mutual combat state, I guess by you being in a parking lot and agreeing to fight, you can fuck somebody up. Not well, because really I used to be a process server. And, okay. Uh, 
there was a lot of lawsuits that I've served on people, and I read them because I'm a nosy sure, of person. Of course, of course. Uh, and the guy went out to the parking lot to fight a guy, got seriously injured, mm-hmm. and now wants to sue the other guy. And the jury's like, well, you agreed to go out there. Yeah, right. Your liability is nothing. Right. I'm sorry. Right. Listen, I'm sorry he got your ass kicked, but that's not against the law. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? So, I mean, it, I, I don't know if it's still a mutual combat state today. It's been years. Who knows? It, it probably is not. Yeah, no, no. Probably not. Cause of course a not. A bunch of whiny little titty babies here. Well, again, most people... Most people in this country are raised by women. Most black people are raised by black women, which is, and again, this probably has something to, and listen, I could admit, listen, man, I admit my faults and my frailties. Um, the reason, one of the reasons I have such a quick temper, one of the, one of the, one of the reasons I can be emotionally immature at times is because the dominant parent in my life was my mother. Uh-huh. So it's almost like, and listen, man, I make my choices. I don't blame all of that. Oh, it's because of my mom. No. But she had more of an influence on me than my father, and that explains why I'm always having to sort of fight. I'm sort of having to fight my temper. Who knows? Maybe I'm really pissed off at her. I probably am. Maybe not. Who knows? But that's just the way it is. That's the way it is. This is what happens when people are when men are raised by women. Yeah, I mean, it, I was kind of in the same boat. Okay, uh, I was raised by a single mother. I was in really bad trouble with the law, yep. and. Uh, to be honest, if I had not gone into the service at 17, oh wow, I would probably either went to prison or died or perhaps both. Whew. Man, oh man. I listen, mean, the stati- listen, the statistics are there. And we say all the time, boys raised by single mothers either become switch hitters, I guess, to keep it clean for YouTube. Fe- fence jumpers. Fence jumpers, switch hitters. Roberto Alomar, Chipper Jones, for yeah, all yeah. you baseball nerds out there. D- or down, down lows. There there you go. DL, yes, right, absolutely. Um, or I didn't, I didn't even know that was a thing until like two years ago. I'm like, what the, hell, what the hell's a down low? That's a black thing. Like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, black it's horrible. Dudes, like black dudes who are switch hitters, but they're really good looking, and nobody knows that they're switch hitters. Oh, he's on the down low. You're like, what? Take one? Uh-uh. uh-uh. Yeah, wow. take one's a switch hitter. That's some nightmare fuel right there. Dude, but he's a power bottom. God. Oh, yes. my God. Yes. Oh, stop yes. it. Stop he, it. He is the cleanup hitter. Hits from both sides of the plate. But they either, they either end up becoming those, or they end up getting in trouble with the law. You got in trouble with the law. I've been in trouble with the law. And again, listen, man, we're all born with the fundamental understanding of the difference between right and wrong. The crimes I've committed, you know, I did end up by own free will and volition, but it would be disingenuous of anyone to say that when you are more heavily influenced by females in your life, most notably your parents, you're just more susceptible as boys to get in trouble with the law because you don't really understand authority. It's 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 a weird thing. I'm not a scientist, but the, the, the and I'm not a statistics guy, but the stats bear it out, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're two examples right here, so... And then I mean, you also have crazy house, drug addiction. Oh, God, yeah. Well, what was it 85% of the people in prison had no father in their house? Of course, yes, right. I mean, how could they ignore that statistic and just do nothing? They continue. Oh, they continue to do something. They continue to double down. The laws are doubling down. On they, stupid. And, and it's starting to blow up in their face now it with is. all these riots. It is. I'm t- dude, I'm telling you. Right, with all these riots, people raised by men, if they see what they is perceived as an injustice— the first thing that they would do is kind of think and be rational. Oh, listen, you're just like you said, you're angry. You can shovel all the coal that you want to into the, into the anger fire, but I'm not going to give you the controls, right? That's the logical thing to do. But because most people in this country are raised by women, most notably black people, what's the first thing they want to go out and do? They want to go out and destroy shit. Why? Because they were raised by women, and this is the way women operate. Oh, my God, something bad just happened. Let's go out and burn down our community. Which I, I think is crazy. But it's ridiculous. What are you gonna do? Any more? Any more? Uh... Oh yeah, we got we got a lot of super chats. Let's here. do it. I'll, Let's do it. Uh, going back to what you were saying earlier about the military, competent man, five dollars super chat. Don't they make some attempt to retain people? I remember working with a seminar group for teens thinking of joining the Navy. They evaluated them. Really. Well, I mean, you're talking about retention in the in the Marine Corps. In the Marine Corps, yeah. Uh, to be honest with you, they try, but I mean, all the Marines I've ever talked to are like, "Nope, I'm done." You guys, because uh, uh, you think about it, you see all these great commercials about the Marine Corps. Oh yeah, and, uh, of course. They're wearing their their, their fancy uniforms, Hoorah! swords, and people are like, "Yeah, I'm gonna do that," and they get treated like absolute crap, and they're living off of a um, 
basically it's a reputation that they got during the 1800s because back in the day there was no airborne there was no you know airplanes if you went to a country and then some some shit kicked off mm-hmm. the marines on the ship were first to go okay that doesn't happen the devil anymore. dogs right yeah, i think the they devil dogs. Yeah, yeah. that doesn't happen anymore all right if we have a problem with the country the president gets on the phone calls fort bragg 82nd Airborne. 82nd yep. Airborne can put like 10,000 people on the ground in like four days. Damn. Damn. Tanks, artillery, dudes. I mean, the whole deal, a whole division of dudes on the ground in 10 days. The Marines can't even come close to that. They I can't. didn't know that, man. I didn't know the 82nd Airborne was that fucking big, dude. If you want to, if, if they decide to flex the entire muscle of the 82nd Airborne Division, it's a wrap. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you're getting you're getting all of their combat brigades. They're getting their strikers. You're getting all of their Humvees. You're getting all of the support. Everything. I mean, it's going to all show up. And they're pissed off and ready to. And they're they're looking for a fight. Oh, it's been ten days since I killed me a man. And, Let's and, go get something. But the thing is, is before the eighty second lands, you will have the Rangers there. Hold, they'll they'll secure the area and the perimeter and the shit eighty seconds on the ground. And now you got. The hornet's nest of dudes waiting to just kick off in people's asses. Mm. Damn, dude. Right, I'm going to do a few more super chats right, here, okay. and then we have a, a, a story request because I'm not sure if Donovan has heard this one. Oh, okay. God. All no. right. Four ninety nine from the combat mechanic. Tell Pop, I'm Air Force, and I worked Uh-oh. weapons on the A-10. I've probably handled more explosives than you. Ooh, the A-10 he Thunderbolt. Might have, he might have. I mean, the, the A-10 burns through uh, a lot of... A lot of uh, Stuff and I, I I love that I love that machine. That's the most underrated uh, fighter plane no, no, no. there ever was, man. The I A10 remember, Thunderbolt. Oh my god, that great. thing levels. Oh my god, I'm on the ground. We're putting fire on objective. The warthog overhead. Wah! And I just watch things melt. Yes, I'm like, that is Part so like the Red cool. Sea. Yeah. You see that shit? Is that on film? Oh my god. I love that thing, man. I'm glad they're retaining that aircraft because um, that's... It's a fucking machine. I've been on... My dad was in the Air Force for a good while. I've been to... I can't even tell you how many air shows. I've been in the cockpits of every cargo plane, fighter plane, everything. It's just... I've always had a fascination with aviation, but because of my eye, I never really could become a pilot. So yeah, that's yeah. my sob story. What's the next one? Rustin Now, a 499 Super Chat. Here's some booze money. Thanks for help keeping the gun out of my mouth. Wish I had this 20 years ago. There you go. <laughs> that's what I want to hear, man. That's why, that's why I do this. Right. right. I put up with all the hate and bullshit because I got tired of throwing my buddies in the ground and firing taps of 21 over them. And, like, why did this happen? And, and trying to figure it out, and it's just a big bowl of misery. It's and crazy, it's unnecessary. Man. Right, right. It's so unnecessary. You know, the suicide, and I think you and I talked about this when you were out, is that the suicide rate among men, it dwarfs the suicide rate of among women. women. Yeah, yeah, of course. But yeah. it's starting to grow now. So like, oh, these poor women are killing themselves and they're oh, binge drinking. Oh, I'm like, please. I'm like, welcome to a man's life. Yes, yes. There's a lot of divorced guys out there. They're like drinking and have a gun. <laughs> yeah, living well, in an like extended state. You got to take it like one. Yeah. Equal Ooh. rights and equal lefts. That's right. Listen, women in this country live the best lives of any class of human on the planet. So ever, I don't know why. ever. Yes, period. That, yes, that we can, that it's we can never remember. been better. It's that never we can been remember because we don't really know how long civilization has gone back. I mean, Jesus, it could be yeah, millions of yeah, years for all yeah, I know. Right. But they're oppressed. And, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah we, we, uh, my, my, my booze is starting to show. Women, listen, women are overgrown children. The more you give them, the more they want. Correct. Texting Prince 999 Super Chat. I'll, I'll read this one as Stewie. I'm enjoying this. Great chat, guys. Men uniting throughout the Red Pill in MGTOW never become her beta man. <laughs> <laughs> that, th- but the thing is, Cool the beta people. man is actually had a key role in allowing feminism to continue. Yes. Oh yeah. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. They do Hashtag the crazy only stuff, fans. and then there's that one dude that never had any female attention. All yes. of a sudden he's 35, and this chick shows up, and she's got a blown out whistle sack and maybe two anchors, and he's like, "Oh, oh yeah, I'll take that." <laughs> What are you she, talking she, about, bro? She oh like God. that. She different. She you know, and it's funny because a lot of these guys, uh, they're what they call male feminists, but they're not really feminists. They just think it's going to get them laid. Feminists fuck guys like us. They don't fuck male feminists. 
There's I'm actually here to tell you. a psychological study that was done that proves that feminists still prefer sexist men. Of course they do, because sexist men are traditionally masculine. It's funny what they're describing as sexist. Wait, you mean that I actually admit, like, I, I come out of the closet as a straight male who actually likes to pursue women? Who knew? Well, how long have you felt this way? Right? Like, that's like that's the, that's the clown world that we're living in. And so a sexist <laughs> man, a sexist man is a man who actually believes in traditional values. Wait a minute. The man should be working on the railroad all the live long day, and the woman should be at home taking care of the kids and ironing my shirt. You sexist son of a bitch. Guess what? You guys are still fucking us, aren't you? Now make me some spaghetti. I yes. want chocolate cake for dessert. Damn right. Shut up. <laughs> Next one up, Will, $10 Super Chat. Hey, Pop, I bought both Jericho files. Any chance if the Warrior's Way Soldier Soul is going to have physical copies anytime soon? Not sure about physical copies, but well, I'm working on I'm working on editing the third edition of the book right now. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, is the Warrior's Way Soldier Soul, I'm trying to get it on a, um, a print-on-demand. Okay. So we have to pull it back, re-edit it, get it in there and print-on-demand. Now. Okay. What I'm planning on doing to harvest the emails that we've talked about yes, yes. is offering the original one free. Ah, we, uh, yes. We, sign up for the email list. Yeah. They get the, yeah, then, that's a great idea. Know, and then I, I will re-edit the one and re-edit it. I have like um, another 30 pages to add on to that. Dude, that's brilliant. And just so you know, having our email is not an invitation for P-Nice pictures. Just saying. We just want to be able to circumvent He's the notification P-Nice. system. And just in case we get kicked off of YouTube, because that Which is still a anything, very, yes. very good possibility. <laughs> Especially uh, because Pop can't quit saying the cunt word. I have a hard time with that. He said whistle something. Whistle sack. Th- oh, okay, see, well, there okay. we go. I had, I had a commander. He's got <laughs> seven <laughs> siblings. Oh, my God. Seven. So he mentions that to me. I go, God, I'm like, holy crap. Your mother's whistle sack must be blown out. He's just like, what did you say? <laughs> and I thought he was all mad, and he's just like, that was horrible, but hilarious at the same time. <laughs> if it's hilarious, it's got to be horrible. <laughs> this, is, this is how you stay on YouTube, is you have to be, you know, like I call them banana gobblers, <laughs> cucumber connoisseurs, eggplant enthusiasts for the, you know, yes, yes, I brother worshippers out there. But yeah, corn this is how you stay on riders. YouTube. Yeah, c- corn but yes, carnival. no, but what Blake just told you, no dick pics. No dick pics, guys. <laughs> After seven kids, I bet when she does stomach crunches, it looks like a party favor. Oh. Oh. Well, see, in, in, in the military, oh, in the military, guys used to do that all the time. They call it a homo ambush. <laughs> right, okay, now listen. All right, this is a good story. Oh, that's great. All right. I'm in the range battalion. We're getting a inspection from the d- battalion commander and the sergeant, battalion sergeant major. My roommate, Nick, I'm not going to say his last name. <laughs> <laughs> I, I come in there, and he's going through this pile of porn. He's like, oh, uh, uh. So, oh, yeah. He cuts out this picture of this dude, little black and white dude like this, holding like a one-inch cock. He goes to the other roommate, pulls his family picture down, and puts this picture at the far end. Next to the mother, holy shit! Puts it back together, puts it back there on the count uh, on his on his desk. Oh my god! So we're at we're, st- we're standing on attention, you know, we're in our dress greens, and the sergeant major comes in. Oh, he's like, oh y'all, all oh, this is all family. He picks it up. He's like, <laughs> he, he runs out of the room. <laughs> Five minutes later, the commander, the battalion commander, comes in, walks up, doesn't say anything. He wanted to hear, yeah, he picks wanted to up see. the picture. Oh, and he runs out of the room. That's all they did in the room. They didn't look at nothing. So we're like, what the hell was that? And then my roommate picks up the picture. Oh, my God. <laughs> it looked like it was actually part of the picture. It was an act of absolute genius. Yes, of course, because they didn't check anything else. Oh, nothing. Man. Wait, what would you say Nick's last name was? I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I'm not going to say his last name. <laughs> But you know uh, he's, he's like a, a retired prominent firefighter from Seattle. Okay, all right. Not one of the firefighters that your ex allegedly. No, no, no. Okay. He's from allegedly, former Green Bear. He's not so, one of. The, he's not one of the firefighters that my ex allegedly had relations with. Okay. They so, ladies, if you're in Seattle, well, if there are ladies in Seattle who are getting ready to date a firefighter up there, he might have a one inch cock. <laughs> just ang- might. The might. angry inch. Listen, man, it's not the size of the sword, right? That's what they it's say. It's all that rain. It just shrinks everything up. Yeah, maybe. Well, yeah. Listen, size doesn't really matter unless you're in the top or bottom 5%. Mm. I'm well in between, so I'm good. 
micro penis. Two and a half inches, maybe. <laughs> nice. My two and a half inch destroyer. Watch out, ladies. <laughs> What's the next one? Uh, James Lancaster, $10 Super Chat. Pop is right. As a Marine from the 80s, I was intending to stay in until I was ready to retire. However, I made it four years, got hurt, and was never given time to heal, but I still love the core. Damn, man. Yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, I love the core too. Those guys are great Whoop. guys, but they just treat their people we got poorly. A battery notification popping up on here. We, we got, got a battery. That's why we. Yeah, that's why I keep my you. stuff plugged in all the time. Yeah. Stupid third-party batteries screwing up my God live stream. Shouldn't you bitches? <laughs> what the hell? Sorry about that, everybody. It's no, all right. done now. All right, Solomon Jones channel twenty dollars super chat. That's solo. Salute Donovan is a great asset to the Manosphere and a great guy. Shout out to Mister Pop. Yeah. You go in on these thoughts as well. Good, good. Yeah, yeah Solo uh, Solo TV eighty four. Um, uh, I actually had him out here a couple weeks back. A couple weeks after I had you guys, a solid guy, man. All right. All right, channel one eight hundred dumb. <laughs> okay. New Zealand, five dollars. Loving the boys, excellent. Forget about internet warriors. They are filled with hate, and all they do is make you worse, brothers. Yeah, man. That's why this is important. The the, the unification of content creators like ourselves, I, man. I would definitely want to get that going. I definitely yeah. do. Well, so what was the story they wanted? Oh, okay. Ah. Uh, uh, we'll have to take a quick break just for a sponsor thing, and then I think we got to talk about Hunter Biden for at least. A <laughs> oh, okay, okay. It's gonna have to happen. By the way, I've heard that tonight's debate they're gonna cut mics if if oh. if one of the <laughs> that just gives it. that just gives Joe Biden twelve uninterrupted minutes to oh, look like an it. idiot, dude. I swear, it. I love, dude. I love, dude. The debate was a shit show. I loved it. He's oh, so like, you, you, you know, I'm gonna dominate you. Uh, uh, Jay, you know I'm going to dominate right. you. Frank Dal Dalafior, 499 Super Chat. Two divorces with both owing me money. My Ooh, mother knew the game. She saved me. Love you, Mom. Double clap. You're there never you go. going to get that money from a chick. Nope. Never. Never. <laughs> never. Never. Mm -mm. If, you ever let a, if you ever let a woman borrow money, you're not letting her borrow it. You are giving it to her. It's a right. gift. You just don't know She'll, it yet. Yeah, right. You, you, need, to take, you need to take the interest in pussy payments. Yeah. <laughs> That's all and, you're getting and out And guess of. what? They'll give it to you. Yeah, but if you don't, listen, if you don't take the, 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 the interest, you're never, you're never going to get a return on your investment. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. All right. Next one. L Snows, $5 Super Chat. Hey, Pop, love your stuff. I started using your terminology like fourth point of contact. Herpiganosyphilates, pound sand, and space ghost. <laughs> All right. Herpiganosyphilates. Oh my broken God. shoulder, neck, back, yeah. knee. That sounds, like that. that sounds like a disease that makes your dick fall off. Oh, no. It's dude. everything in old and one. Oh or I'd have guys like always going on sick call. And I'd be like, so what's wrong with you today? You got a broken uh, shoulder, back, neck, knee? <laughs> <laughs> Her I got gangbang green of the penis. <laughs> <laughs> gangbang green. It's starting to smell. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. That's awesome. That's nightmare fuel right there, man. The Manosphere might have built its career on Amy Horton, <laughs> but the only thing that they built on top of her was a cauliflower stack of oh, just disgusting. Oh, God. Oh, Ooh. Jesus. Ooh. I love making Pop want to retch. That's why I'm back here doing this That's right gross. now. And I'm leaving the camera on him. Oh, Amy Horton. All, of, all of the real horrible stuff on my show, it's all from his brain meat. That's right. Yeah, there's I, some times I, I I'm like, I, I can't, I can't say that. Uh, yeah, Blake is he's he's kind of the genius behind the, uh, like, the, the 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 curtain, right? Like he's got that. Well, I uh, come up with like like eighty percent of the craziness. Right. I, I bring it to him. He's like, how can I make it worse? I'm gonna tell you <laughs> what, man. Um, Blake was down uh, shooting Womanies Volume Three with me last week, and some of the lines the girls had to say were quite provocative, but it had to be real. Uh -huh. Blake did a brilliant job being appropriately inappropriate enough for them to feel comfortable looking into the camera and saying if you try to fuck me in the ass i'll probably let you and they did it with a smile it was unbelievable <laughs> i could not have done that myself and i forget exactly when it was what specific line but alina looked directly at me and said the line i'm like that was good that was but good now look at, at the, the camera. camera there you go <laughs> yes look at the camera <laughs> Alina's a good girl. We, we 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 love Alina. They're all coming back for Volume Four, by the way. So, all right. Yeah. yeah, they were all very sweet girls. Yeah, very very nice. All right. Channel one eight hundred dumb again. Five dollar New Zealand. If there's a threat, a physical threat, I don't know about Pop. He's a few years more mellow. But if a threat to the family, etc., cause me to get a bit irate. Yeah. Game on. Yeah. yeah. Game on. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry, I don't have any kids, but when they start threatening my dogs, uh, like, yeah. eh, chances are, if you had a kid, it's three times worse. 
listen, Devin, love you to death. People talk shit about Devin all the time. Yeah, yeah. And it's because they've seen her ass on the internet, and it's a uh, it's a nice ass. So it's almost like they're trying to act like they act like she. So I don't really take like like one content creator said she looked like trailer trash. I'm like maybe, but she looked hot that night, right? But then they say, uh, but and I've actually had comments. I'm gonna kill your Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, and I'm like, Whoa. like I see red. I see red. Yeah, that ain't I cool, man. That ain't love cool. you, Dev. Love the dogs more. <laughs> I just, that's not cool. Jerry Smith, two dollars super chat. Veg is a trap. Don't do it. <laughs> I, that's, that's why I refer to it as the Bermuda Triangle. Because <laughs> the, the money and resources go in there. All yes, your money, right. all your resources, whole careers and lives get sucked into that. Never to be never seen see him again. again. Yeah. Never see him again. No. <laughs> Charles mystery. Wilson, $5 Super Chat. I don't agree with your politics, but on life lessons, money, and women, both of you are on point. Boom! Solid. Listen, politics is politics. All right. The way it should work, no one has to agree on everything, and I'm cool with that. Okay. All yeah. right. It's just when it gets to the point where people are, like, drawing lines and go, you know, and start preparing to, like, shoot each other, that, that's the problem. Yeah. I'll put it to you like this. I think that it's probably fair to say that most men in the red pill community we probably skew a little bit more toward the right, okay? I don't listen, could you be a democrat and be red pill? I don't think so. So, I mean, listen, that, that might be maybe I'm wrong there, but I can't imagine someone having democratic beliefs but also not just having red pill awareness, but agreeing with what we teach here in the red pill community. I don't see how those match yeah, up. Because it's Question that emotions versus logic. There you go. In That's the exactly right. In the past year, have you had to sever ties with people on Facebook and, and personally because of their, their 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 craziness in regards to, like, they're on the left and, like, you like I'm, I'm trained in propaganda, all right? I'm an That's intel right. guy. That's right. That's right. I remember telling you. I have all this experience in the military. I see it. And I try to talk to these people, and they're like, you're an idiot. Blah. And all I do is berate me, call me an idiot, say I'm wrong. And I'm like, you know what? I, I'm going to have to, you know, I'm not going to allow my anger to do crazy stuff. Sure. I'm just going to sever the tie, and you can just drift off into your world of stupidity, never to be seen again. Here is here is the paradox with black guys this is where it this is like black men this is kind of where it diverges a little bit there are black men who see what they call black woman fuckery they find the red pill <laughs> i love that uh, dude that's it's all they talk about so they see they see that that, that that the system is rigged and bitches ain't shit and all this other kind of stuff but then when you tell them or when when you tell them hey listen i'm i'm pro trump i'm not a I'm, I'm not a democrat <gasps> oh my god you're a sellout well wait a minute hold on now hold on which is it? Because, like I said earlier, you can't serve two gods. You can't be Mister Pro Blackity Black and 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 take from the rich and and give to the poor and and support single mothers, but then come over to my channel and say, yeah, we have to take back masculinity. You can't have it both ways. So I'm not having to sever Facebook ties. They actually eliminate themselves for me. Because I'll say one thing out of the way. Sorry, Donovan, have to unsubscribe. Well, don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. Fam. Uh, so here's another one I put on the board here. What is your opinion on the Democrats using and manipulating the minorities every four years? Oh, it's yeah. like clockwork. Yeah, yeah. Here has been here has been uh, here's my voting record. The very first time I could vote, I was 18 years old. It was 96. I voted for Clinton. Okay. Uh, in 2000, I voted for Bush. Okay. Because between the ages of 18 and 22 years old, I actually started making a little bit of money, and I wanted to keep more of it. When I was broke. Yeah, I always had money in my pocket because Clinton and I know it, and I know it's not that simple. But a funny thing happens when you start to get a little bit older and start to make a little bit more money, your politics start to change a little bit. Now, if you get super rich, maybe you go far left, but for normal guys like us, we want to keep more money in our pocket. And so my voting record is Clinton, Bush, Bush, didn't vote for Obama the first time, didn't vote for him the second time. Um, and then, and then, and then Trump. So I took two L's with Obama and I think Obama's a great guy. Uh, just because I don't agree with his politics, just because I didn't vote for him for president twice, doesn't mean I hate Barack Obama. Oh, if, no, no. Listen, if I'm a single mother with seven kids, Hey, Oh, listen, change Obama. He's my hero, but I'm not reproductively irresponsible. I make more than the average man, at least I do now. So there, why would why would I put someone in the White House who's going to take more of my money? 60, right, sixty percent. It's 
fucking ridiculous. This is why I'm trying to move to Nevada because I'm just, dude, we live in we live in PA, man. We're getting raked over the coals, dude. Yeah. yeah. Everyone in there is walking around the penis in there. Ass. All day long. You already know. You <laughs> already surprise know. One. Yeah, I mean, dude, um, the, the Democrats, and I don't know if you guys follow MMA, but uh, Jorge Masvidal, he is Hispanic, and he had a rant after, it was, I think it was during a press conference. I, I remember seeing a blurb in the news about this. Dude, it was unbelievable. He says, he said, uh, he said, listen, don't let the Democrats fool you anymore. He said, I'm pro-Trump. He said, white, he says, white Democrats think that they can play Despacito and automatically get the vote. And I think minorities. That was so crazy. Dude, it was, dude, it was fucking crazy. And so I think minorities, you know, black people, brown people, I think they're starting to wake up to the fact that, hey, you want to know something? Maybe voting Democrat isn't really the right thing to be doing for me. Again, if I'm a baby daddy, if I'm a single mom with 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 eight kids, I gotta I gotta I gotta stay blue because that's essential to life. But I'm neither, yes. so I gotta do what I gotta do. But yeah, listen, the Democrats don't really do shit for minorities except for tell us this every four years, it, and they assume that they have our vote. I think more I think more minorities are starting to wake up. I refer to that as man ip. Ulation. Yes, I love <laughs> the uh, the new Ma- New York Post uh, cover. Uh, Fifty Cent come out and uh, he endorsed Trump, and he said, yep. "Well, I'm voting for Trump because I don't want to become Twenty Cent." Straight up, <laughs> Straight that's up. awesome. Listen, Fifty Cent, Kanye West, who's a special kind of crazy, but still, and most more recently, Ice Cube is endorsing President Trump. I'm telling you, man. People are people. Listen, minorities are starting to wake up, man, and it's it's not going to be long before it really is going to be right down the middle. Yeah, I know. Now, listen, I am voting for Trump simply for this reason. China. I I want him to bring the jobs back to America. Straight up, I don't care about any of the other crap. I don't care. I really you, don't. You want to know why I vote for Trump? Because he's an asshole, man. Uh, assholes he's, are good, dude. He's. I love how he claps back at people on Twitter. And I remember when when uh, uh, Trump's first six months in office, they're like, President Trump is not very presidential. Yeah, only because he's calling you a fat ass because you cracked on him. People talk shit about the president all the time. They always take the high ground, right? But Obama was the first president of the social media era. Donald Trump just took it and run with it. Yeah. And he has made it clear. Listen, if you talk shit about me, if you talk, if you talk shit about my wife, I'm going to talk shit about you, presidential or not. But this is the way it's supposed to be. Right. Yeah. Now listen, the people who run the country were not designed are to be there forever. Right. Okay, right. so you get a president who was a business guy, he's going to show up, run the stuff. Of course he's not going to ask act presidential. He's a business dude that's used right. to telling people, you know, to pound sand. I agree. And that's what cracks me up about all the people in Congress who have been there for decades upon decades trying to blame the dude Biden. for all the country's ills after three years. Yes. They've been there for decades, accomplished jack and shit. Yep. Correct. You know, it's, it's interesting. The I think the, the, the presidents are kind of cyclical, right? So Bill Clinton was a far, far left president. But he was kind of – people call him sort of the first black president. We all remember him on Arsenio Hall playing <laughs> playing the saxophone. I was like, okay, he's going – Animaniacs opening credits, man. They always had to put Bill Clinton in there with the – Oh, it was great. Sunglasses. It was, yeah, dude, it was, it, was, it was fantastic. Bill Clinton, oh, by the way, is the reason why – is the reason why deadbeat dad, the, coin, uh, the, the term deadbeat dad was coined. He put a law into place that goes after deadbeat dads. If you don't pay child support, you lose your license, they come get your job. You can blame Clinton for that. Well, the country was so sick of far left Bill Clinton. What did they do? They put George W. Bush in office. George W. 9 11 happens, the Patriot Act. We go all the way to the right. Well, guess what? Now we need to go all the way back. It's so the swings are getting further and further. There wasn't really that much difference yeah. between Reagan. Let's let's go with Reagan and Carter. There wasn't Correct. really that much a difference. Reagan was just a better congressman than Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter was a great man, and that's what made him a terrible president. So then we go to Clinton. He's a little bit out there. Then we go to Bush. He's a little bit more out there. Then we go to Obama, who is as Just left as left can be. What the hell did you think was going to happen after eight years of Obama? Donald Trump exists because of Barack Obama. And you are correct the, on listen, that one. And the next Democratic president is going to be, oh, it's, oh my God, it's going to be fucking Whoopi Goldberg. We, That's who it's going to be. We, we need we need to stop this. It's ridiculous. It's Some, like we're something back needs and to, forth. Something's got to something, give, yeah, man. Something's got to give. It's all. It's it's an overcorrection to the overcorrection. I, listen. What happens when you're driving down the road and you overcorrect too much? Dude, you, you go into the ditch. I'm telling you, man. 
Can you, you imagine what AAA. the next Democratic president is going to be? Uh, Joe Biden is not going to win this election because he's not extreme enough. Donald Trump won the election because he was way out there. Guys are like, dude, God, guns, rock and roll, and Donald Trump make America great again? I'm uh, in. I'm in. I'm in, yeah. If people ate like they voted, you would either have people starving themselves to death or <laughs> eating themselves to death. <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, that's awesome. Fucking... That's awesome, man. Holy shit. Wow. Man. That makes all this What a... the hell ever happened to moderation? I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> right. I, speaking of moderation, Pop, they're noticing that you're drinking water and oh. they're concerned for your mental health. You okay? <laughs> I have to drive a car in a little while. <laughs> Cornelia donated five euros just to give that man a refill. Okay. Cornelia. Hey, bartender, Joe Boo needs a refill. You want to see the pop sugar get bombed on, t- on camera? See, All this right. is a secret plan to get time. me killed, right? They want to get pop drunk, so he wraps this car around a telephone oh, pole. That's, that's, <laughs> aren't, you aren't you taking an Uber to the, to the restaurant? Uh, I am. I actually, have. I am. But listen, Smart I know man. pop can. Listen, now, if I'm the one drinking this, you can't put me behind yeah. the wheel. Like, no, no. listen, I love my whiskey sours, but I'm a lightweight. Like, I'm just. No, it's going. all good, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Super chats in here, guys. Console Peasant Rescue. Wow. $2 super chat. The Concrete Octagon. Watch your teeth. Watch your okay. teeth. Okay. Channel 1-800-DUMB again. $5 New Zealand. Donovan, cool haircut. My mom was fairly violent with me, but that was kind of normal then. Oh, yeah. Anyway, my love to the boys, and we need more collabs. Listen, I got my ass beat by my mother. And you deserved it. And I deserved every ass beating, and I have absolutely, <laughs> I love it. I have absolutely no... Bad feelings about it. Like, literally, when I remember I was 25, I'm like, yeah, you know, remember you, you hit me with the meat tenderizer. Kinda I kind of deserved it. I kind of deserved up, it. I straight up deserved it. I'm Dude, cool. Listen, we terrorized our mother. Because we're boys, right? We're full of energy. By the way, I cut my own hair. I have since I'm 15 years old. Uh, no, remember, like, back in the day when you used to buy the chemistry sets? You had all yes. kinds of cool shit in there? I made... High grade explosives oh in my, my house. Oh Fight my Club God. was based on Pop as a teenager. Blew them up in the backyard, and I got my ass beat. Yeah, you deserved it. And I just, the cops would come. Oh my God! Like, oh, wow. What the you hell's that, going on you here? You were that kid. Hell yeah! My, my mother's <laughs> like my mother would freak out. There was a smoking crater in the backyard. That's why I got put on the short list to go in the military. Oh my God! That's why they fast tracked you at seven. You were, dude. You weren't even dude. the age of majority. This pop seventeen. All right, let's ship them off. I was taking the ASVAB in tenth grade. Wow. Oh, so you already knew? No, when no, did- no. I, I didn't know I was being fast tracked for the army. The police in my city are like, that dude needs to go in the military. Right, right. That's exactly what happened. It's either jail they, or the military. They, they put me in the good line. No wonder you and my wife get along so well. She lit a field on fire when she was a kid. Well, things happen. So you're both pyromaniacs, is that it? Yeah. I didn't and, intentionally and, set fires, but things happen. You, like, know? you didn't intentionally set fires, but you're not sorry you did. Allegedly. Things happen. Allegedly, yes. Yes. Things happen. <laughs> Else knows, $2 super chat. Pop, what's better, the FNFAL or the M1A? Uh, uh, I'll go with the M1A. Uh, the F, the 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 fin fell is a side lock system that can be knocked loose and cause accidental discharges. Uh, the M one A is built we off. We don't want of any the, one of those. The M the M one A is built off the uh, M one Grand from World War Two, which is a is a workhorse of a battle rifle. Okay, so you're a gun expert, obviously. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm an That's why wow. some of the doors in the house are locked. <laughs> yes. Uh, it, not that you would know that they're locked or anything, right? <laughs> What are you going to do? You've got some uh, impressive uh, weaponry in here, by the way. Just disregard the 12 gauge in the yes, corner. Yes, absolutely. Listen, if you have a 12 and gauge shotgun in, in your house, you you likely never have to discharge it. All you have to do. <laughs> you can hear that. Rock, you know, you can hear that in a rock concert, right? No. Look, you mean, they're, eh, sh- sh- I need to go. Wow. <laughs> I mean, the whole American psyche is programmed for the racking of the 12 gauge. Yes, I agree. I agree. All right, Justin Baumgartner, five dollars super chat. I've been hearing that the USMC is getting rid of their tanks. If true, any idea why? Uh, what? well, yeah, they're they're trying to go to a quicker, more mobile um, fighting force because they're competing against the eighty second Airborne Division, and they do not have uh, the infrastructure to move tanks around. Like they're part of the Navy, you would think they can. I so. I think that's kind of ridiculous. They might they actually I, there's some talk that they might fall back on the strikers with the uh, the 105 and the 120s, which is a lighter vehicle, wheeled vehicle. Uh, but the M1 Abram, um, to be honest with you, is a huge guzzler of fuel and just a resource hog. 
so it's hard to maintain and, and, and actually keep going. So, so you agree with the you agree with the move then, or you understand? Why, I understand I it. I don't agree okay. with it. Okay, all right. Uh, we we actually need to go to a light tank that you know you a little can quicker. Put, that's quicker. Doesn't require as much fuel and still you know can be used for what you got to do. All right. That's just my opinion. Just my opinion. It could be wrong. Dr. Five, five dollar Canadian. Toxic leadership in the military is a big reason for guys getting out. I assume it's the same in the U.S. Huh. Uh, now listen, I have Data. first hand. Th- 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 one of the reasons why I have my black belt in administrative violence. <laughs> administrative violence <laughs> is I great. literally had to this go up great. against a lot of officers who were toxic leaders. Most of them female. Oh God! Here we go. Here we go. Dina. I'm not, I'm not going to say her full name. Did but a that, whole that, slew of Lear videos on Dina. I'm going to tell you, that is like the only woman that I would actually probably punch in the face like a man on first sight. I, hey. I just, oh, We're going to have to do a live stream all about your beat on sight list. On the beat, yeah, she's on the beat on sight list. <laughs> oh, this is great. Uh, she was terrible. Like, like She would make herself look good by ripping apart everyone around her. Oh, she's that bitch, huh? Yeah, and then when she started, when she put her sights on me, I'm like, oh, I better get schooled up and turn my brown belt yeah. in administrative violence to a black belt. And uh, I did. She sounds like what women do in their everyday lives anyway. She yes. just happened to have military but, and, power. And yeah. she, she wrecked people's lives. Oh, put, kicked people out of the service. I mean, it was just ho- horrific. Go, man. It was horrific. She sounds lovely. Yeah, I'm sure she's a lovely woman, yes, of course. <laughs> uh, Dustin Boudreaux, my buddy Dustin, $5 super chat. Just a little money for the old Smoky Fund. Yes. Cheers, guys. Old Smoky. You know, first of all, a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Ah, you was telling me about this Two earlier. Two shots of this with a little bit of actual caramel on top. Now, I know I'm exposing myself to a homo suspicion point, but it's so good. <laughs> foo-foo drinks. I love the foo-foo drinks. You and know I, what? And I accept it. I accept it. Throw a shot of Kahlua in that, I think you got a double winner. Uh Oh, wow. Ooh. What do you call that, a frozen Russian? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. He's got the a, white Russian with Caucasian, the milk, the black Russian. A Caucasian or, or a who white devil. We can call it that. Just you, know what? you know what? We can call that concoction there the white Ukrainian. Oh, oh, How yeah. about that? I like that, oh, white I like Ukrainian. That. Just for Alina. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about that. Listen, the girl that crushed now. me the most. She is actually a Ukrainian girl, Tatiana. First and only and last Ukrainian girl all over right, What's with. What's the next super chat? The Paranormal Soldier, $10 Super Chat. Pop, keep up the good work. The former 82nd Airborne Division Artillery, or he's our former 82nd Airborne, oh, sorry. Oh, wow, okay. And now 4th Division, and we love everything you do. Your advice helped me after getting cleaned out of my Dolores. Ooh. Uh, all right, artillery. All right, here's the story. Okay. I was in the 9th Infantry Division. We're doing EIB training. I'm just like, I'm a PFC. I'm a nobody. Okay. Just doing my thing. And I see the shit hook. Flying over, that's the helicopter mm-hmm. with the, the two rotators. Yeah, the Chinook. And all of a sudden, it's it, it sling a little beneath it is, is, a, is a cannon piece. And all of a sudden, it goes, ah. and we all sit there and watch this Are cannon. Are you fucking kidding me? Over main post, fall, and then we're like, oh, shit. And then everyone's like, all right, we're breaking for lunch. And we all ran down there to see the damage. Nobody got killed. Okay, all, all right. right. But the cannon was like, boom, right into the parking lot. They'd already had tape around it, and it was there for two weeks while they did the investigation. Fucking hey, We're all. Man. I remember I went to the hot dog stand. I'm eating a hot dog. Somebody's career's over. Uh, yeah, I would say so. Wow. Because yeah, the whole cannon system's deadline. Sure. I, I, I mean, I wouldn't dare even fire that thing. You were going to die. God almighty. But they, it dropped from like 1,800 feet. Ah, dude, they're lucky it landed in the parking lot, man. Yeah. Bit of a drop. Yeah, yeah. A little, oh, bit. Sorry. a little bit. What are you gonna do? Falling out of the sky like Amy Horton's fertility. <laughs> <laughs> Amy Horton's fertility was already on the ground. Then. Yeah, it, it is the yeah. crater. On, it's a smoking crater on the ground. Monday on TSR Live, Amy Horton and genital warts. Stay tuned. Stay okay, tuned. next one. Stay tuned. Total Hobnob $10 Super Chat says, Just got out of the Navy from being a sonar tech on submarines. Now I'm working for oh. a defense contractor at 26. Any advice for the civilian world? Save Joined your when money. I was 18, no prior civilian work. Okay, Save first your of money. all, if you're working on the civilian side, you could probably make a lot of coins. Yes. Right. Number two, you have to fight the urges of the psycho sub guy. I know a lot of submariners. What's the psycho sub guy? Oh, my God. Those guys are great. It's that high-pressure nervous no, syndrome. No, no. And they're I, fucking I, crazy, right? No, I knew some guys 
okay, who were submariners, right? This one guy told me, listen, on my sub, I worked like the, it was one of the shifts where everyone was asleep or whatever. They would show up and drive the sub with nothing but flip flops on. They're all naked, <laughs> wearing nothing but flip-flops. nothing but their birthday suit. Just, all right. You know, <laughs> all you can oh, hear, clear. all you can hear is their flip flops. <laughs> They're totally naked. I, I was just like, you got to be kidding me. He goes, no, no, no. That was a uniform. That has I know to be one true. of the, the, the metaphors is sink the sub, but I mean that's taking it a little too seriously. <laughs> and then, no, and then I, I actually went on to oh a, I went on to a fast attack sub when I was doing a joint op with the Navy, and I remember they opened the hatch and I, oh, I was just doing a scout swimmer thing. Yeah, yeah. And the stink that came out of there was like, I was like literally I was it's only, just man well, sweat, like bare ass and bare. It was feet. like diesel. Yes. It was diesel fuel in, in an airtight. Sweat, and Air shit and fart gas. Oh God! Taint cheese. It, <laughs> Don't light a ma- like if you light a match, it becomes a bomb type there. of thing. I was on there like four to six hours before I got out, and had to swim, and uh, I was I was glad I was out of there. That thing was terrible. And the guys who were probably in there, what, what are you talking what about? Smells smell 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 just fine. I mean. uh, apparently, that sub was like the last of the fast attack diesel subs that was re- was just in the area because it was getting retired. Or like a time. diesel nuts sub. Ugh. Hey, I, I'm just a dude, I, and I, I dress code flip flops only. I, I mean, the na- the Navy guys did all the work. I just had to keep up and yeah. pull security. And swim every once in a while. Oh, those guys swam me into the ground. I, I, I mean, I could barely keep up. Shit, Dwayne those guys Hicks were awesome. Fucking fish. Yeah, they're fucking fish. They were dude. awesome. Everybody in the chat is like, it's a good thing I'm not eating right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wet, hot balls, ass, and feet. Ah! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Everybody's laughing at taint cheese, and there's a bunch of like uh, pukey emojis in there. It's too. right yeah. before Ooh. dinner time, so Ooh. I think we're safe. But can you imagine if we're doing this, I don't know, maybe an hour from now? <laughs> I think the fine. chats would probably stop a little bit. I'm not a puker. I don't puke. Can I have a, a plate of sushi and some taint cheese, please? Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, next Super Chat. Frank Dallafor back again, 999 Super Chat. I received every payment from my first wife. Have judges order to pay on the second, but just cut my losses. Then I found you, brother. Oh, good. Sweet he nectar. Even. He broke even. Good. Yeah, yeah. Got paid for the first. Hey, listen. If you can make it to the end of your life and break even, that's a win. Dude, real talk. Real that's talk, a win. Because right? girls don't take L's. Women don't take L's. Men, we take L's when we're born. If you can break even, totally agree. Yeah. Totally yeah. agree. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times I've been like, oh, psh, oh, God, that was a good one. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Move on. Move yep. on. Justin Baumgartner, 666 Super Chat, <gasps> oddly specific, Evil super chat. but it's a very fitting amount for what he's talking about. What are your thoughts on the Chinese Communist Party and any possible meddling they'll do to get rid of T-Rump this year? Oh, my God. They are going to pull all, here, this pulls over. They're gonna pull all the stops to get rid of him Yeah, because we are totally, totally breaking up their mojo. Yeah, man. Yeah. We're their biggest. Trump importer, has said so. so. Th- we're at. The, they're at our mercy. Well, well f- no, no. Well, for, no, no. There's that, but they make all of our medical supplies. They make a majority of our electronic components, and this whole like kung fu thing is like, wait a minute. All they have to do is stop doing what they're doing, and we are fucked. Out of medicine. We're yeah. we're screwed. This has got to stop. And 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 they want to get rid of Trump because. He's gonna he's gonna make like hey look we're gonna bring that back here we're gonna do this we're gonna do that you, and, and they're gonna they're gonna implode because they're they're getting hammered with floods snow and there's plagues all kinds I mean that's it, the good thing about living in America we uh, other than hurricanes and the occasional earthquake on the west coast we actually have pretty good weather here yeah I right? can't complain former ghosts funeral service five dollars super chat i have to thank you guys for providing me hours of advice and entertainment security work can be a real drag sometimes yeah i know a lot of security contractors so yeah i think you have a big time niche here man because i don't know anybody in the red pill sphere who focuses on military guys and my guess is that i think military guys probably make up a bigger uh bigger portion of our full audience than we probably realize listen i can't tell you I know quite a few individuals who passed away, all right, under suspicious circumstances that they thought may have may or may not have been self inflicted and uh who are going through a breakup, divorce, yeah. family court kind of thing. Like for instance, like this one individual um drove his motorcycle 
at 180 some odd miles an hour. Into, oh my god! Into a viaduct. Oh my god! Human soup. Three days prior, he was served with divorce papers. Oh, fuck. dude. Well, you know what? At least it was painless. Maybe. Well, like he's I, obliterated I, 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 on no, contact. I right? think he did it to make it look like an accident, so everyone would get their portion of his of his uh, life insurance. 180 miles an hour. That's no uh, accident. No, I, it, that's what I said. Sure, but I, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? 180. Oh my god! It was oh like it was it was like one of those uh, Kawasaki hurricane like stupid drive to your dead fun motorcycles. I don't know. But, you know, oh, the servicemen just get horribly racked yeah, through the man. coals over this whole thing. Yeah. And the worst part is, is their toxic leaders actually make it worse. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Like the bitch on your punch on site list. Yeah. Her name was Dina. Dina. No, no. It's another That's name. That's what we tell her. Part of her it. name is Dina. Oh, so her name say, is Adina. I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Uh, All right. Scuffoon, $20 Australian. Machiavelli says that appearance of virtue for a leader is more important than having it because yes. people want to be deceived. Says a lot about the left. Pop, get yourself a bottle of Sullivan's Cove from Tasmania. Ooh, send it. That sounds I'll drink good. It. <laughs> Sullivan's Cove, is that a whiskey? Ask me, is that a whiskey? I, I'll drink. Well, first of all, let's call let's call it what it really is. Whiskey is fuck you were fighting in the parking yes! lot. Yes, yes, right. And bourbon is fuck you were fighting right now. <laughs> uh, <scuffling laughs> that's, that's show, we should actually get bottles with those. Like, you know, I want a bottle of uh, fight private in the label. Uh, fuck you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Right away, Mister Pot. Yes, of course. <laughs> I'll work on it. Uh, Scuffling. If you're still there, let us know what kind of booze that is. Skyfall, twenty dollars Canadian. What about the G thirty six? Love your shows. G thirty six. I have no idea what that is. That is one of those newfangled uh, assault rifles. It's, it's okay. I mean, it, on a scale of one to ten, it's like a seven. It's not bad. It does its job. It's effective. Dawn Creep, $5 super chat. Just saying hello from the gym. All right. Ooh. Are you one of those people who likes to you know, take pictures of their ass in the mirror at the gym, but you're just there to, you know, to work out? Totally working out right now. Yeah, we, should actually, we should actually film like me doing my bag work. Again? Again. Again. Yeah, we can do that. With the aspic right at the end, right? No, no. Actually, when I go, I, when I go to do, when I actually do my sure. Oh God! Now I'm picturing picturing when popping bag, yoga pants. Shit! I don't do that. When I hit the bag, <laughs> I don't just hit the heavy bag. Sure. I I fight three. Okay. Because I don't train for sport fighting anymore. I I train for real world fighting. Okay. All right. And you don't have time to throw con you know combinations to set up that knockout sure. punch. When you fight multiple assailants, every single move is a maiming and finishing move. Hmm. All right, Three heavy next bags. one, but we're down to our last couple here, and then we uh, we got to roll out of here. We got to roll out of here pretty soon, so oh, we got to we got to hit the Hunter Biden oh, train shit. really quick. So we're yeah, I mean, time flies when you're having fun. Nonstop, really three sixty five dollars super chat. What are your thoughts on the USMC potentially making boot camp co-ed instead of keeping the genders separated? Uh, Another uh, bad idea. We did a whole episode on we, that. Oh one. my god. Uh, first of all, they Jesus. keep they, they they kept doing. I don't understand, man. They kept doing this woman in combat study ever since Vietnam. Every seven to eleven years, and every single time they come the same conclusion: women can't keep up with men. And they even had the last one the Marines did. They did the the co-ed, and they're like, look, the all, the unit with all men outperformed the mixed unit like in every single aspect. Of course, of course, right. And hurt feelings aren't going to change biology no. or reality. Oh, and first of all, women get hurt at two and a half times the rate as men, and the injuries that they do sustain tend to be career-ending or long-lasting. Dudes have the magical thing called testosterone. That's right. Yes, it makes us stupid. Yes, yes, it does. Yes, it makes us aggressive, but we heal. We have more endurance. Bone we can density. Take more pain. Yeah. We have more. I mean, every aspect of physical performance that you need for combat, men do it better. The fact that you have to say that. I'm, we're in clown world. Like we actually have to that. say that. I love the way you say that. We're I say, we call it bizarro world, but you say clown. Oh, well, world. I actually Devin bizarro, calls it bizarro world. world. Where garbage <laughs> is money. It's incredible that we have to say, okay, boys and girls, testosterone is the reason. Oh Jesus fucking Christ! It's awesome. Shout you out to think. nonstop Dre three sixty. He's a. That was the next one. You would think that you wouldn't have to say these things. Yes. Uh, Luke, one, two, three, four, five dollars super chat. Pop, how much of a learning curve was there for you on how to do a YouTube channel, gear editing, etc.? I will tell you exactly how much of a learning curve there was for Pop. None. <laughs> because I do it all. Yeah, he does it all. I just come up with like a majority of the craziness. 
Because I, I had to learn how to do all of this. Because <laughs> I don't, I don't tutorials. sleep. Yeah, I don't sleep. All right, I sleep maybe three to four hours a day. That's it. Shit. So like, look, I'll sleep for two hours. I will sit up out of a dead sleep. I have my pad by my bed. I'm like, oh shit, that's awesome. Oh, you're that guy. So you have to write it down. Yeah, I yeah. Write it down. Yeah. Scuppoon's back. Sullivan's Cove, twenty dollar Australian, twelve years single malt whiskey, one world's best, three years running. Send it. I'll drink it. Can we get it on Amazon? <laughs> like. That sounds fantastic. I'm serious. Send it. Up. It'll be on the bar. Sullivan's Cove. I'm getting that. All right. You Paranormal know what? Soldier's back. $5 super chat. On my second jump using T10D parachute, I wasn't used to rigging 240B. Dropped the ruck, and it flew in a different direction and hit a full bird kernel. Things happen. Wow. Things happen. First of all, with the T10, you it, hit we, a full bird kernel. We call daughter. it the crash 10 because when you come out of the bird, you have very little control. But the, the good thing about it is it. You can have two people hanging together, and that shoot will bring you to the ground safely. Damn. Teamwork. Yeah, I've crushed some people with a rucksack. It happened. <laughs> I'm sure you have. Channel 1-800, dumb with a super chat, $5, New Zealand pop. Blake driving you home? No, this is the lair. So yes. Don't have to drive well, I'm, I might have to drive. I don't, I don't know. He, he, says, he might be driving me to the restaurant. He says, I love you, Don, Pop, Blakey, and bless to Devin. God bless you all. And, of course, you forgot to add not in a gay way. Not yes. in a gay way. Hashtag no. So we, we better hit the Biden thing, we, and we've got to be out of here because our reservations. At all right. We've got to do, do one quick shout out here to our sponsor. Just give us a little 30-second break. We shall return. In case you haven't noticed, there's a culture war going on, and the spoils are the very minds of people we are trying to save. The war on the West is no longer about men or women. It's about the ideological subversion of Western minds by foreign actors cloaked in a public relations friendly outfit called feminism. Join the fight against the destabilization of our very civilization by reading Surviving Fourth Wave Feminism. Learn some inconvenient truths by clicking on the link in the description, because every time you do, a pansexual non-binary socialist cries. <laughs> Boom! We're back! Uh. That's great. Now we gotta talk about Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden! You guys oh, talk Hunter, so Hunter, much. Hunter. I'm over here and I'm like, oh my god. Do right. you think Trump is gonna bring this up tonight? Oh, of course he is. <laughs> He's yeah. gonna have two minutes uninterrupted. Oh Every time. God. So so Biden's going to have 12 minutes to embarrass himself, but Trump can't be interrupted either. All right, now, let, well, I'm, in a perfect world, unless the moderator does it. Now, now first of all, I'm going to put this out there. Okay. My heart goes out to the Vice President Biden. Of course. He has a son who has got this horrible uh, substance abuse problem. Yeah. Yeah. And he's got uh, that, dementia. And, well, well, not him. I'm talking about his son. Who His son is, a, let's be honest the, the, they're looking into him for being a pedophile yeah because there is yeah. kitty porn or whatever yeah it's it's bad okay now just quickly everyone's like oh you know this this whole you know laptop thing is yeah. a plant and blah 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 well the department of justice has debunked it as russian interference there you go they didn't debunk shit what do you mean they didn't debunk it well they're saying that it's debunked but it's not well, we'll see. Uh, Listen, mean, I'll the, say the this. Dude, they left it. What happened was Hunter Biden took this laptop to a store for repairs, right? Which they have the receipt for with the signature. Yeah, they have the receipt for it. Air quotes. Air quotes, yeah. He left it there after 90 days. Basically, he was probably tripping balls on crack and forgot about it. it that's why you don't it, do crack, kids. It, it was actually th three laptops, I believe. There's three hard drives. Yeah, three wow, hard drives. I didn't know that. Yeah. Three hard oh, drives. God. After word leaked to the New York Post, Biden's own lawyer called the store to ask for the hard drive back, and they have proof of that, too. Oh, so it sad. is as legit as legit can get. Well, first of all, that's very... <laughs> This is the smoking gun. Just that, a little bit damning. That, okay, yeah. that is stupid lawyer one-on-one. -on -one. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus fucking, what are, we, what are we doing? And this is really the big thing. Like, everybody's going to say it's about Hunter Biden. It's really not because this proves that Biden lied about yes. levying his position for Burisma and for China. If that is true, it disqualifies him from the presidency. That's it. Correct. Yep. It's done. It's over. Well, yeah. But the thing is, is you have the media, you have all the big tech running interference for him. Yes. It's, co it's completely blatant right now. Yeah, Twatter it, and Facebook have gone completely uh, listen, off it's the been rails. Bla listen, man, the, the, the Fox News is the only media uh, corporation that isn't in the tank for Democrats. 
that's the only one. But th- this far and left they're thing, slowly starting to tilt yeah, too. They're, uh, they're they're hiring more and more leftists. It's getting a little ridiculous. It's absolutely over there. insane. Aye, I mean, aye, aye. There needs to be something done to fix that. You know. Listen, I will say this: people made up their minds who they were going to vote for on election night in 2016. Okay, the day after Trump was elected, the people who put Trump in office, they're going to vote for Trump. The people who voted for Hillary were going to vote against who were going to vote for whoever was running against Trump. You're not going to change anyone's mind here, but, right? Yeah. I can't imagine that there's anybody on the fence. This is the most divisive campaign I think well, I've ever seen. Here's another thing that blows my mind is apparently the laptops were given to the FBI a year ago. Yeah, and they sat on it the whole time. They sat on it. So guess what? I I hope to God yeah, that's a Trump up. gets reelected and he fires all of those sons of bitches. Just just fires them on the spot. I mean, I got to ask, why do we even still have an FBI? It was created to enforce federal mandates of, uh, I believe it was during the Prohibition era. Yes, the 20s. So why is it still here? And why do we have numerous intelligence agencies siphoning off tax dollars from the American people, all of whom should be working together and not hiding crap from each other? Instead, you have, you know, seven or eight, you know, different intelligence agencies all doing the same crap. Or, you know, know, I just, am I wrong here? No, no, no. no. Listen, I'm 100, you're you're, you're 100% right. We actually uh, just watched the documentary about the whole college basketball scandal. The FBI got involved, the Southern District of New York. It was a complete shit show. And we spent our tax dollars on this? Like, it's it's incredible. It's incredible. It's crazy. All right, so we, we're we going to probably have to start wrapping up right now, I'll cut it a little short. Oh, it's so sad. I don't I'm know. Sorry. We were just getting warmed up on this. Yeah. So sad. Train, man. But well, you know, we so did cover a lot of cover, important yeah. shit, though. I mean, Yes, we did. Yes, All we right. did. This is cool. We, man, we got 1,100 people in Because we got we got to get, like, One we got to get going. One last super chat, then, right. because we got Z-Link corrupted $5. Pop your opinion from a professional on short-stroke piston ARs. Just bought one a few months back. Okay, the short-stroke piston AR, it's basically an uh, AK-74 in disguise because it uses basically the same thing uh it's less dirty than the standard uh, ar-15 platform and in my opinion it is superior to the standard ar-15 platform why do i keep getting all these gun questions because you're the gun that guy. I totally agree with what Terrence just said. <laughs> yes, gun absolutely. I, I completely understand everything that he was saying, and I endorse it. Listening to you percent. talk about guns is like listening listening to him talk about cameras and lights. And I can still do it while I'm fucking three sheets to the wind. Yeah. I, yes. got, I got to hit the fucking pistol. <laughs> I had I've, to been, teach, I've been drinking for two hours. <laughs> I had to teach Donovan about white balance and how in the industry color correction is racist because you pop the whites and crush the blacks. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> Give me a minute. I got to go. We're oppressed, I tell you. Go. We're oppressed. He's got to go drain the main oh, vein, guys. Two, two hours of drinking, man. <laughs> All right. I guess Donovan and I are going to have to take it out tonight. Let's Any do last it. Word, sir? Um, yeah, listen, this was a lot of fun, man. Um, I'm glad that um, – and I like to do these um, – I'm, I'm glad that we're seeing more, like, live in-person collaborations because – and don't get me wrong, man. There's certainly value in seeing, you know, two people on the same screen and, and you know, seeing different content creators, you know, sort of on the same screen. But when you see them in the same room with each other, I think that's, I think that's much more powerful. I think it also gives us a little more credibility uh, in terms of, okay, these guys aren't just – idiots who get you know there are a lot of youtubers out there who have nothing but a camera phone and, a, and an opinion and then they want to call themselves content creators i love when they film vertical that's my favorite it's like oh, oh yeah you know you know we could fill the screen but i just yeah but it. i just want the two black oasises on the side right um but yeah like this kind of stuff not not only is it fun i think it's very important and i think it helps our audience to sort of cross over so i think it's only going to help going forward yeah, man, it's good times. And uh, apologies ahead of time. I know everybody really wanted us to cover the last debate tonight, but until ah. until just like a day ago, I didn't even know whether or not it was actually going to happen. Yes, yes. Because, you know, the last one got canceled for BS reasons because Trump was like pissing negative for, for two or three days before the debate. And they would have right. been, you know, if six feet apart actually works, you know, the same rules that you force all of us to abide by, then what's the problem? Right. I'm just asking. Right. Okay. For a friend. For exactly. A friend. But since you're here and, you know, because you're going to be here filming the last bit of the womanese thing that we didn't get to film in New Jersey, I figured right. if we're going to have you here, we definitely got to get you in here for a live stream. Of course. Of course. Too much of a good Two birds, one stone, man. All right. Here comes Pop. Sorry about that. He has officially drained the main vein. He is the back. main vein. 
I was about to start dribbling. I had to apologize for not covering the debate tonight, but hey, you know, it is what it is. We had Donovan in town, man. Of course, yes. What are you yes. going to do, man? All I'm right. actually uh, sending my dog walker, uh, I'm sending my dog walker a, um, uh, the code to our lockbox here. So pardon me if I seem a little distracted. How many dogs do you have? I have uh, two dogs. Uh, I have two Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. I have three cats, a bearded dragon, a, a gerbil, and two fish. Dang. A lot yeah. of pets. I mean, listen, I don't have any kids, so You're our, into it, our pets man. are that's our cool. kids. Cool. Our pets are our kids. So, like I said, when you threaten my dog, that's when that's when I get serious. Oh, that's cool, man. So, Pop, where are we going to dinner tonight? We are going to Osaka. Osaka. Japanese Steakhouse. Actually, did, isn't that the other one? No, the, the one at Clawson, I thought, is what we are going to. Yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's a, an Osaka. Oh, it's, it's another one called Osaka. Yeah, yeah. Okay, hey, my bad. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm excited. Baby. I want to see an onion volcano and, yes. some, and some shit lit on fire. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, that'd be great. I like it when they, I like it when they make the, uh, they take the, the rice and they shape it into a cock, and then right at the end, <laughs> they separate the top and say, oh, you have dirty mind, it is rabbit. You're like, oh, yes. you Speaking of place, <laughs> That's the one thing that we missed, and that is the perfect segue. So last story of the night. They want you to tell Donovan the penis in the corner story. <laughs> wow, the penis, penis in the in corner. The corner. I try to remember. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. All right. First, all right. All right. I had a uh, platoon leader back in the day, a West Point grad. Okay. And he and I was his RTO, and I, he would always make me take these like three big manuals in my along with the radio and the batteries. Okay. In my in my rucksack, which was punishingly heavy, and I'm like, hey, sir, sir, all of these manuals. Are in the Ranger Handbook, so you just take the Ranger Handbook and we're good. No, 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 we're taking these. I'm like, you mother effer. <laughs> so I would have to go with him up to the HQ, and okay. this is before PowerPoint, so he had to put everything on those those clear acetate things, right, you know, right, and he had to brief the battalion commander. And in the corner, I would always draw a penis. <laughs> <laughs> so this... A- Oh my god! This became like he got so used to it. He would like put it down in the thing to brief the colonel, and the first thing he would say, "Disregard the penis in the corner." <laughs> and then he would brief around the penis, and everyone with a straight face, with a straight <laughs> face, and everyone in the room would be hilariously <laughs> laughing. This guy, unbelievable. So then, uh, then you know, I would uh, get the the, the china. <laughs> crayon thing and i would China. i would go into his car and draw a penis on the rearview mirror <laughs> <laughs> so literally i mean i remember i didn't hear about that one you know, he go, oh my I, i'm God. watching him go to his car and i'm up on the second story you know on the balcony in my room drinking hot cocoa and he goes in his car and, and then he comes out he looks up and he sees me and i'm like <laughs> he he suspected it was me but he never saw me do it so right, i'm like right, oh, right. what you're talking about sir so 20 years later <laughs> oh my god he is the OIC of Eastern's uh, Eastern Michigan's ROTC program, and he's retiring. Huh. I find out about it. I go talk to the sergeant major. I tell him the penis in the story corner. He's like, you know what? We 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 can't let that one rest there, fellow oh pop. My we we got to hook this guy up. So as he's doing his briefing, the the colonel's doing this. Like he's ta- he's retiring. He's lieutenant colonel going through right, something. Right, right, right. In the background, there's this huge like drawn penis <laughs> and, and everyone starts laughing and he looks around and then i stand up in the audience and he looks he goes i knew it was you i knew it was you and we went out that night we got so god of course drunk. he had to call his wife to get us and i remember i passed out on his floor <laughs> wow the penis dude, in the corner dude that's it was awesome so you draw a penis in the corner Everything, everything he had had a penis in the corner. That is incredible. I, I, I would put gay porn on the back of his of his mat. <laughs> I cut out a penis and acetate on his mat. So he, he, oh he'd go up God. to the colonel and he'd have this map. All right, we're going to be hitting this objective here. Uh, disregard that naked man. And it, <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Dis, uh, yeah, disregard the sexual acts happening between men. <laughs> oh, and the colonel's God. like, "Are you having a problem with your people?" Oh no, we're good. No, no, everything's fine. Everything's, everything's fine. fine. Yeah. Well, with that image fresh in your brain, yes. we're going to take off for dinner now. We're going to see y'all at Peepers. Yeah. You know, because that's where all the good women stay. Because right. they're, they're just waiting tables. They're she's not just, dancing. She's right? just waiting tables. Just, no happy endings here. There's no Peepers. She won't show her Peepers. No, she's different. <laughs> she loves me. She loves me. I think me. she likes me, dude. Dude, she's a stripper. She's, good she's supposed to pretend she does. Stripper. Get out of here. <laughs> Disregard the warts in the corner. You're going yes. to jail. <laughs> 
All right, guys. Let's take us out. Mahalo. Have a good evening. And see you at the Shake It Club. Yeah. Later. All right, man. And your stream. That was fun. That was good, man. <sighs> oh, man.